Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> good morning. How's everybody today? <coughs> it's uh, what is going on with this cough, huh? It's uh, Sunday morning here. It's uh, eight o'clock a.m. Uh, Cheche is doing laundry this morning, emergency laundry, because guess what? We haven't done laundry in a couple of weeks, so she uh, she's doing laundry today, this morning. How is everybody? Clintus, hello, hello, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Double dog, one knucklehead to another. Good morning, good morning. How are you this morning? Yeah, Cheche is in the, uh, over there at the other, Nelson Luke, good morning. How you doing, sir? Thank you for coming on this morning. This is just open forum, forum this morning. Operation Journey. What's up? How you doing? Madame, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, this morning I uh, woke up, ready to go at 6 a.m. But Chichi has so much laundry she had to do, so we she's doing that as quickly as possible. But you know how that is. Uh, good morning, native couple. How you doing this morning? Uh, how is everybody this morning? Good morning, James Jacot. How you doing this morning? How you doing? I hope everything is good and hope everybody's doing good this morning. Yeah, today, uh, Nelson Luke, great weather here. Baja, Mexico. Roy, good morning, San Antonio. Oh, I love Baja, Mexico. Wow, it's been a long time. I've been to Baja. Yeah, James. Yeah, cold and rainy. Here it's um, it sprinkled a little yesterday when I was up on a mountain. I don't know if you guys saw the video. It sprinkled a little bit, but it was actually turned out pretty good. It was nice and cool up there. I like it up there. Mark from Michigan. Hi, Tom and Ruth. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I uh, got up this morning really early. Nelson, Rosario, Rosarito Beach. Ah, yeah, beautiful area. I uh, woke up, had my cornflakes, had my uh, had my banana, my cornflakes. All doing pretty good this morning. Set. Chicha says, "Oh, I, I." She got up early. She got up like six, and she's been doing laundry. And uh, it's amazing how much laundry you gather. Um, she has a washing machine, but it's uh, just a spinner washer. It's just a washer with a rinse, and. Uh, I might actually get her American style, but you know they didn't have them for a long time. Here, in the last six or eight months, they started getting the American style washers in town. You could order them online, but they're really expensive. They were like, uh, you know, sixty, seventy thousand peso for a washing machine. But now you can get them really cheap. You can get them for ten, fifteen thousand American washing machine. So, but good morning, everybody. So, what do we want to talk about today? Open discussion. Open discussion this morning. I uh, we talked. To, I, I had some people ask me about uh, international flights, and then I had some people send me some emails on many different things. But uh, budgets, you know, budgets that I had hit a nerve for sure. Um, uh, but you know, it's all about the lifestyle here. It's all about what you what you live with if you drink or don't drink. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, red banana. I, hey, Mr. B, I've never had a red. Good morning, Mr. B. Nelson Luke, good morning. i never had red banana. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, madame, good morning. Question. Yeah, hey, Ken, good morning. Uh, question, if you get any animal. Hmm, yeah. Dry spin, yeah. I, I, don't, I love that. <coughs> Filipino party life, yeah. But damn, go ahead and ask a question. No worries. Just type it in and we'll answer it. If I don't have an answer, a lot of my subscribers will. Uh, so I want to welcome everybody on this morning. Uh, here on Sunday morning, Saturday evening when you guys are at. Some Sunday morning here, right? Um, we uh, here. Let's see. I don't have my moderator here. Hugs, Ken. The guy, good morning. How you doing? You know, I've never seen an actual dryer here. They do, Nelson, they do sell the uh, all-in-one, you know, where it uh, washes, rinses, spins, and dries. Uh, but 
Who has the cheapest flight from Michigan to the Philippines, Mark? That's a good question. Um, who is the cheapest? Last time I looked, it was, I think it was uh, one travel. Uh, I went online and just put in Skyscanner, and it pulled up everybody. Uh, but you can try Cheapo Air. There's many you can try. Last-minute ticket, Cheapo Air. Uh, of course, you can drive Travelocity and some uh, a Kayak and some of the other ones, but I've never had any luck with those. Uh, I've always just went direct. Uh, you can actually try Philippine Airlines. They go direct now, so you can actually try them. Uh, Delta goes into Hong Kong. You know what you might think about doing is flying from U.S. wherever <coughs> to Hong Kong or and then come on in and then back out. Sometimes it's cheaper. Uh, that's what I say, Mark, you know. Uh, how did, did you know you could trust Alibaba? Uh, you know what, Clintus? I, I, the reason I trust them is because they actually had what they call uh, trade, insur trade assurance program and so when you you sign on all that and I knew that no matter what I, I used my visa card and I knew no matter what I was protected by visa so and I paid with visa I just let, let the bank know I'm going to be making a purchase I knew that no matter what uh, they have trade assurance and what it is is just an escrow account it goes in an escrow account once the escrow account is is uh, money is in there once the house is delivered, they release the funds. Once you approve everything that you had, did you receive it? Is it in good working condition? Uh, with any problems? And you list them. And then they work with you, with the manufacturer, to try to make sure that you're happy. And if you're not happy, they will make you happy. Uh, I had I had like a window that was uh, missing a screen. Little things. Uh, but they ended up giving me $1,000 back. Uh, because, and I drill a hole here. And then a screen was missing, and um, what else was it? I don't remember. Oh, um, I requested uh, the window to be larger back here in the back bedroom, and so uh, they did not. It's just same size window all the way around. So, slide right. Have you ever been to Guam, Ken? I've never been to Guam. I would like to go. I've never gone. I would like to go. Uh, Mr. B, peanut butter and banana sandwich red is bananas the best. Good for breakfast. I'll have to try that. Um, Nelson, uh, fly from uh, yeah, fly from Chicago. You could actually find some really good flights, man. When I was searching online uh, a couple years ago, I had to go back and I ended up buying a ticket, and it was through uh, uh, Keep. Kiwi, Kiwi Fly or Kiwi something, and it ended up being like uh, eight hundred dollars round trip. Spur of the moment, it was actually a pretty good price. <clears throat> Thank you, Michael. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Mark. Um, yeah, Expedia. Uh, Travel Advisor is pretty good. If you if you try, uh, there's many of them out there. I found the Skyscanner is the best for me personally. Uh, there's so many. I did a video on flying. Uh, I'll try to remember. You can actually go through my videos and they'll list all the, the cheap airlines that you can actually fly or the cheap sites that you can go on and find some pretty good tickets, good prices. Yeah, so. Ken, like number 66 six, Minnesota time, minus 19. Wow, wow, wow. I, Madame? I don't have an answer to that. Do you know where you watch ABS, CBN News in English? No. I think it's since it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a uh, Filipino channel, it's going to be all Filipino. But you can actually get the, uh, what you guys call that at the bottom of the screen, to uh, change it to uh, closed caption, where you can actually change it to English, right? So, good morning, Emily and son. Good morning. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, Ruth is doing laundry this morning. She got sidetracked. And since we've been out and about and doing many things, uh, we hadn't done laundry in a couple of weeks going to CDO and things. So she's out doing laundry. Uh, Mark. Oh, there you go. Uh, one way from U.S. Taiwan, then round trip. There you go. Mr. B. One way U.S. Taiwan, then round trip from Taiwan to the Philippines is best. 
there you go. You can actually find some pretty good deals out there. Man, there was one last year. It was, uh, uh, I go, you guys heard me say this over and over and over and over. Manila to uh, Hong Kong. <coughs> it was um, 35 bucks. Hong Kong, U.S., three, 400 bucks. A round trip to Hong Kong and then back in here. Uh, yeah, good morning. Let's see, You're making sure. Yeah, subtitles. Every day I'm a shuffling. Uh, subtitles. Good morning, every day I'm a shuffling. How you doing today? Fix the truck in snow. 10 3 blower motor record time. Extra to frost. Ah. Ten, oh, man. Uh, yeah. So, um, also, too, you can actually uh, try and remember those. Uh, let's see if I look at my book. I do have a list here somewhere of uh, flights. Cheap. No, it's in my other book. I burn it. Never mind. Uh, I was actually going to find flights for. You can actually find some pretty decent prices. Hope I answered that question for you on Alibaba. Alibaba owns Lazada and owns uh, AliExpress. Many different sites. They will protect your money for sure. Uh, and I, I knew that my money would be protected because I have the Visa logo, you know, the Visa card. So no matter what, I can dispute it and they will refund the money back to the bank. But for me, uh, trade insurance is very easy, very, very, very easy. And they stand behind because they stand behind the customer. Uh, they don't want anybody to have bad rapport with uh, China. And they're really adamant about it. Now, there's a difference. I want to tell you guys this. If you're doing business with anybody in China and you do Alibaba, Alibaba, what they do, they have trade insurance where they actually go to the plant and they actually check out the plant to make sure it says what it says it can do. So if they say they're manufacturer, okay. If they say they're broker, they check and make sure they're broker. Some say they're manufacturing, they're just a broker. They had money. So you could easily just go ahead and uh, make sure they're actually trade insurance certified, meaning they're certified that their plant's certified, and that's what I did. I made sure they were certified. It was actually, people went and expected it and said they did this and said they did that, and it worked out better for them. Yeah, oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear every day I'm shuffling. <coughs> Cathway Pacific to Chicago, Philip got arrived Terminal 3, which is those. Yeah, that's really nice, Terminal 3. Yeah, that's really nice. I arrived at Terminal 3. People are telling me, guys, that uh, Cebu's really nice flying in and out of. Now, I've not done it. I've only flew, uh, flown out of uh, Manila. So, um, you know. Let's see. I know he's journey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <coughs> I don't know where I'm picking up his cough. His sinus is draining. My sinuses are draining because uh, I went up the mountain yesterday and it's really, really uh, different, different cold temperature uh, than what I'm used to down here. Now, we got humidity here. Up there, there was no humidity. Um, I had a friend that had a balloon service and I did not know this how they fly the balloons you know they go up and the higher you go it gets colder right but if they go up a certain height it's how they do the balloon certain height when airflow goes this way you go up a little higher and then airflow goes this way so that's how they guide the balloons so they go this way and then lower and then they go this way I did not know that and that's told me how he guides the balloon I don't know I've not been in a balloon but he owns one and he uh, he was telling me a story about that um, uh, how's the weather, Manila? I'm down in Mindanao. Good morning, James Sloan. How you doing this morning? Uh, Hanoi's journey. I'm in, uh, we're in, uh, I'm in Mindanao. My chicha's not with me this morning. She's doing laundry, but we're in Mindanao. We're in a place called Maragmug, Maramug. And, um, we're in between CDO and Davo and Bukidno. So, What do you hear about iOffer? I don't know. I don't know anything about iOffer. I don't even know what iOffer is. Read a lot of bad things about that one. I don't even know what iOffer is, madam. I don't know. 
I don't know anything about that one. <coughs> <coughs> I heard lately that you can actually pay for a whole year's stay now once you get your ACR card from immigration. Is that true? Is that is that a great thing? You know what, Nelson? I don't really I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I understand that they've actually changed the format that they can actually give you three months at the airport now, someone was saying. I don't know that they can or can't. I know that they have what they call a 9A tourist visa, and you can get that up to a year, uh, six months or a year, and that, that is for tourists, and so that may be what they're talking about. And it's uh, um, $120 a year or something like that. But uh, you also can also get the Balik Bayon stamp when you come in if you're married to a Filipina. And so when you come in, just say, I'm married to a Filipina, I have a copy of your license, your marriage certificate. And say, okay, here it is. You know, I need bleak buy on, and they'll do that. Some of the guys, that's what they get. They just come to the country, and they stay a year at a time. Well, they stay all the time, and they just go get the bleak buy on. They just leave the country for 24 hours, come back, and get the bleak buy on stamp. No cost them anything. Uh, you know, because some of the visas, <clears throat> even the tourist visa, you know, it's going to run you 20, 20 k a year uh, peso, 20,000 a year peso. Uh, counting your ACR card, because ACR cards were good for a year anyway, from the time you get it. So, I think mine was at the time was in November or something like that, and it was good for a year. My tour when I did my tourist. So, but Balik Bayan too is a good way. But the 9A visa, uh, I can't remember. One of my subscribers told me about it here on here. I think it was either Severa guy or one of them. Double Dog, who was it that said that? Do you remember? And. It gives them the ability to stay for the six months or the year at a time, and I guess you just pay the fee to get that visa. Um, yes. I was married in the Philippines 31 years ago, but divorced in the USA. I want to marry a girlfriend in the Philippines now. Can I remarry in the Philippines? Am I still legal to marry my ex-wife? As long as the papers were submitted here in the Philippines, you can actually do that, yes. They passed the law last year, 10 to 3, Supreme Court passed it. What you have to do is make sure those papers that you were filed for divorce in USA and you were overseas and married to the Philippina here, and those papers were filed. Once you file those papers, the government will accept them. Uh, they started the program because many OFWs, uh, females, uh, were there, and so now you can do it with a foreigner. So you... Once, once it's filed, you can actually probably bring the papers with you and file it yourself and get to, the, to the government and file it, go to the uh, embassy and, and do all the stuff you need to do. Uh, honey's journey. Uh, I guess he got mad. Oh, okay. I don't know. I've never heard of eye offer. I've never heard of eye offer. It's... Uh, Balik Bayan, you must have your wife with you. Okay. I didn't know that. I did not know that. They gave it to a friend of mine, uh, and his wife is here in uh, Mindanao, and they gave it to him because she, she was traveling. But you're right. If it says you must have your wife with you, please bring your wife with you. Because um, he said he had his marriage certificate, but they didn't even look at it. He just said, I'm married to Filipina, and they gave it to him. Uh Hi Tom, let's see. You're very hi Eddie, how you doing this morning? Uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, can I please ask if we can make camera use? Very much enjoy your videos. Thank you. You know what? My my mine are very simple. Uh, I don't use any camera at all. I just use my phone. I uh, we just grab a phone, put it on one of those selfie sticks, and I do everything with my phone. I do uh, we do uh, all our videos. We do our uploading, your downloading, all our. Uh, editing all on the phone. We don't even use the laptop. My laptop died anyway, so I do have a next book, but that thing is like frustrating to use. Uh, I do everything on my phone. I upload all the videos, edit them. I, I can do a better job editing my videos, but uh, for me, it works pretty good. The phone does it. They have a lot of apps for it. Let's see. I'm gonna get my. Let's see if I can reach the next book. I'm reaching over here, guys. Excuse me a minute. I have this little next book. Now I use this. Uh, it's you know this. It's a it's a little. It's a mini laptop. Sixty four. Believe it or not, sixty four gig. It's like an iPad, but little keyboard. 
he can use this. Uh, but I just use my phone. Phone's the best. And then I do everything. I don't go spend. It's like, it's like all these guys spend three, four, five, six thousand dollars. One guy I know spent over three thousand for all the uh, helmet brackets and brackets and GoPros, and he had bought two GoPros and. And I'm going, wow, why? He says, I'm doing vlogs. I go, why don't you just use your phone? You'll find it probably uh, 70, 80% vloggers out there use some type of, uh, uh, you know, GoPros or something. I just use my cell phone. And we actually have an, an Android phone that we use. You know, that, let's see. Yes, uh, Mary Philippa, she's back in the Philippines since I'm driving the truck. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You could easily, I'm trying to think. Yeah, just, you have to have her with you. Uh, I did not know that about the Blake Bion. But you know what? <clears throat> if you're over there, I want to tell you, another Philippine embassy, uh, maybe in Miami, maybe in Dallas or somewhere, uh, go, go to the embassy, talk to them, go ahead and get your visa there. You can file for your, uh, you can get your tourist visa, you can get your 9A, you can you can get your visas there. And I understand it's a lot easier than here. Uh, a friend of mine just got his permanent visa in U.S. And uh, they're here, they require an exam. <coughs> U.S. they require an exam too, chest x-ray and all that stuff. He just went to his doctor and his doctor just signed the paper and didn't have to do all the stuff that they did. Submitted it there and got got his permanent, and it cost him uh, postage. And here it cost, uh, I forget what it cost. I don't know if it's a permanent for sure. I don't know what it cost. I know my 13E cost me 11, but they say it went up to uh, almost 18, 18,000 now for 13A. So, okay, so the uh, Nelson, the Belief Bion, go to the embassy, talk to them at the embassy, and they'll actually uh, help you out. Yeah, I'm back in Marion, back in the States. I have off the wall question. Okay, Roy. Uh, hi, Minoro Journey. How you doing this morning? How you doing? Ken has the channel this morning, guys. I, I, our Minoro Journey. Who else is on this morning, guys? Uh, guys, subscribe. Uh, Roy, go ahead and ask anything you want. Fly in Asian country. Meet your wife there. Have a short vacation. <laughs> there you go. Mr. B, there you go. What an idea. <clears throat> Yeah, so fly in the Asian country, just fly in this, uh, tell, tell your wife, meet you in Hong Kong or wherever, right? Any Asian country, uh, Thailand, uh, and uh, pick her up and then uh, bring her in. You, it, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea because you you get the year, you get the visa year and no cost compared. Um, hello, Timothy White. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, good morning. Yeah, Femoro is a great, great edit software. I use Femoro on my phone. And Chen Chen uses, she's got like three or four that she uses. She does a pretty good job with her. She does a better job than me on her channel. Uh, she actually has uh, a, what, what am I trying to say, a uh, editing software that gives a lot of availability to do more than I can on my Filmora. But my Filmora is fine. I've been using it now um, Almost a year, maybe, maybe a little less, and it works okay for me. Yeah, there's many. Uh, yeah, the embassy in the middle will probably be, uh, you can actually local government and Cebu file the papers, yes. No, I'm married from the Philippines. Yeah, you, you, uh, you may have to get the letter, uh, the certificate letter capacity uh, that shows that you're divorced in uh, U.S., and you can actually have them check and see if you're uh, it's showing here. It's probably still showing that you're married to a Filipina here that you need to file the papers. Uh, and file the papers with, uh, you'll have to file them with the government office. You know, the like uh, you might try the uh, Bureau of Immigration office would probably be my guess. Uh, you know, or you could, I, I really don't know where they file the papers. Uh, that'd have to be when you think it's a bureau. I don't know. You guys tell me. Uh, I didn't ever ask my buddy that. I should should have asked him where you file the papers. Um, it's either embassy, somewhere in the embassy or the BI office. There's no other no other place, right? 
Uh, yeah, why? <coughs> why Sentry? Yeah, if he's on arrival, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I went to Japan last year. It was uh, 90 days automatic for me. Aussie Panay Channel. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Shout out to everybody this morning. Uh, subscribe on everybody's channel, everybody else's channel this morning. Aussie Panay, Ken, Ken's Act of Kindness has a channel. There's many on here has a channel. Men and Out Journey has a channel. Uh, my own Boon Talk, Bruce Dow. How you doing this morning, Bruce? Uh, love, uh, love the picture. It looks like a polar bear. Okay, Statistics Authority. They still have my old marriage on file. Well, you'll have to re refile the papers uh, and show that. I never asked my buddy where he filed the papers when he remarried to Filipina. He was married to Filipina. It was really a bad marriage. And uh, he divorced her and uh, out, of, out of here, and he refiled the paper. I never asked him where he refiled it at. Uh, something, I, I, just something that I would never go down that road personally. I told her she asked me the rest of my life. She just said I have to deal with it, you know. Uh, No, health care is not necessarily something that is... You can buy some policies here in the Philippines. Uh, Saritas. I said it right. Caritas. There's some internal policies here in the Philippines that you can actually purchase for your health care. And uh, you can actually buy health care outsourced from the United States and uh, here in Asia. Uh, there's many companies that have... Uh, health insurance that you can actually get quotes from. Uh, a lot of travel insurance companies have health insurance policies. So you can easily, uh, you know, do it that way. Um, yeah, health care is something that you could easily just get. There's Pacific Prime, there's Aetna, there's United. There's so many companies that you could actually get quotes from and uh, get you some insurance. You know what, Roy? There's not that much camping here that, that, that you can actually go camping. You you can camp anywhere you want. There's no camping parks. But yeah, you can camp. You can stop and camp wherever you want. And what I mean by that is you set up a tent or something like that. You just have to make sure you're in a good environment. But sure, you can get you can get a hotel here a little or nothing, anywhere from $10 a night and up, and uh, do that. My daughter's going in and out so much, I'm questioning what, what she's doing. Uh, let's see. Henry Ryan, thank you for advice. You're welcome. Windows Movie Maker, exactly. Uh, there you go. Okay. Thank you, Mr. B. I appreciate it this morning. I'm not really uh, familiar with that. All papers from other countries must be certified from... The Philippine Philippine Embassy in that country, the papers are issued. Okay, okay, I got. I'm on track now. I'm on track. He, Mr. B's right. So, I, I, I'm not really quite sure, but this originated from Japan. A lot of this divorce and things like that. Uh, OFW started this, uh, and she got a divorce, and it was recognized by the Philippine government, which overturned a lot of cases. And they finally approved it that uh, OFW can get a divorce from her husband here, but her husband is still married according to the according to the uh, law. Now, but she's divorced, and a foreigner can do the same. If a foreigner is married to Filipina, he can do the same. She's still married; he is divorced. So you need the papers from the other countries that certify that shows you're certified from that government. A lot of and. If you guys would go online and look at Japan, put in the Philippine uh, Embassy in Japan, and you'll get mo a lot of information about divorce in the Philippines because a lot of cases are filed in Japan. Many cases are filed in Japan. Hey, Tom, if I fly to meet my wife in Thailand, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, you know... I, uh, that's where I want to go, <coughs> just Thailand. I want to go to Thailand, the sinuses. But I have the air con on, so. 
I use video editing in iMovie and many others. There's many you can actually use. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, we've watched. Uh, yeah, they're they're a good photo slideshow in the start of the house video. They actually do pretty. They do good videos. They've been here uh, and doing a great video on the family. Uh, we have. Uh, I think we have. Chichi put out about five or six videos of us. Uh, slideshows building that house. We have two houses here on the lot, and then uh, open up this expandable house. There's probably many, many, many videos of that. Jim Eldridge, good morning, Kent. Yeah, good morning, Thomas. How are you doing this morning? Welcome, Thomas Roaring. Welcome to our channel this morning. Our call. Good morning from Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Thomas Roaring. If I'm not seeing you on a container home, have you heard of any of us building an Earthship home? I have not, Thomas. I have not heard anybody building an Earthship home. It could be built. No worries. I live in a container home. Yes, an expandable house. I don't know if anybody's ever built one here. Um, you could. You could build one. You know what? If you're talking about earth home, when you actually dig down, you you could probably do it in the mountain, okay, in the mountainside, in the mountains. But you can't do it like where I live in some of the areas where, uh, because water table is so 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 high. I mean, you dig down two feet, you got water. You got your well. Here where I'm at here in Minden now. <coughs> uh, a little busy bee farm. How you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I need some honey. Send me some honey, will you? I haven't had any honey. I need some of that good honey. The honey here is watered down. You know where the, the bubble goes up? It, it, it goes straight up fast. And your honey, I, I see it. I just need get some good honey. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm wrong. He says there are lots of camping parks. All right, little busy bee farm. Where are the camping parks, and what are they? And what do they have? And what kind of campers do they even have here in the camping parks? Oh, camping in a hotel. Okay, yeah. There's no, there's no campers here. Unless, in fact, in fact, we. I I one time, guys. I was selling tents here. You couldn't find tents, right? Nobody even had a tent. You, they weren't even. They were selling them here at Lazada, but they only had like four kinds. Well, I brought some in from China. And uh, we just, Chicha took them, took them down to the market, sold them to a lady down at the market, and she sold them. And uh, I forget how many tents they sold. I don't know, 100 tents, something like that. There's no tents. Now that you can find a tent in every corner. Now that's where I live. Google camping, you will see. Oh, is there really camping? Camp what kind of camping? There's no, there's no RVs here. Uh, there's no trucks that you it has a camper to it. Uh, there's a little mini parks, but there's no camping. Uh, I don't know. I just wonder. A trailer park would mark trailer park would do good here. It sure would. Uh, <clears throat> you could actually take these spendable houses as uh, Double Dog and I talked about. Double Dog, you still on here? Uh, you just drop it, drop it. You could rent them out. Just drop a cargo 40-footer, make two or three apartments out of it, Get you see, uh, have a, a bathroom each one of them, and like one room with a bathroom, you'd be set. Um, uh, yeah, so, so a little bit, is there really camping? I, never, I don't remember ever seeing camping. Uh, good morning, Tom, a little busy. How you doing? Hey, Father Wolves, he's on. Good morning. Good morning, uh... Let's see. Life in the Philippines as I see it. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Wayne. This is a channel that he has. Everybody, take a look at his channel. Aussie Panay channel. He, there's uh, all these guys. Little Busy Bee Farm's got a channel. Many of the guys that's on here has a channel this morning. Emily and Son has a channel. Dawson Creek has a channel. Who else on here has a channel? Uh, many of you guys have a channel. Men are now... Uh, Journey, our Mindanao Journey has a channel. You guys take a look at all those channels and, um, you know, subscribe. So, Life in the Philippines, as I see it, he has a channel. Subscribe, a little busy. It's snowing here, Burr. Yeah, a little busy. You're in Las Vegas, aren't you? Bruce, good morning, Bruce. Our, uh, Cheche is overdoing laundry. 
We had two weeks worth of laundry because we went to CDL. And here, come here. This is what Chiche has got R doing. Show her the mop. Show him the mop. But don't put it in Daddy's face. There. She doesn't know how to do that. There you go. So R is mopping. And Chiche is doing laundry. And she says, go on live. I said, okay, I'll go on live. I said, you're going to be missed because everybody wants to talk to you. Yeah, I wondered, you know what? It would, Roy, uh, honey here is something that uh, they crave. Uh, they do have many, many places that have honey. But what they're doing here, they water it down. And, I mean, they really actually water it down. When you get it, it's, it's watered down. They put something in it, and it's very watery. So um, when you get it, but damn, ask any question you want, anytime you want, we'll answer. Keep the wife's cheap flights, great food, conservative people. There you go. Where is KL? KL Double Dog says. A little busy. I don't know of any Earthship home. Five pounds on Amazon, 17 bucks. That's actually a really good price, 17 bucks, five pounds. Uh, yeah, it's really, really good price. What, what, we were in a 40-foot motorhome in Subit. You have motorhome. Are you talking about wheels? They actually have wheels? They, 40-foot motorhome in Subit. They have, they actually have wheels? I've actually not seen one, and we've had so many people ask and inquire about it that, that, uh, I be uh, I have a friend of mine that's looking to buy these old buses and redoing them. Of course, he's a millionaire and he just wants something to do, uh, and just refurbishing them and turn them into ho uh, homes and sell them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Old oh, tires and other ways they cost more labor to build. It's labor expensive. There. You know, uh, labor. Yeah, it, it, labor here is cheap, so you could actually do that here. No worries. Old tires, they have plenty of old tires here. You could actually make a deal with a guy and take his old tires, no worries. Uh, yeah, no, you can do that. You can build an Earthship home, no worries about that. Just get you a nice place to, like inside of a, a mountain, like you said. But you, you actually, you'd be surprised, depending on where you go in some of the areas, they actually have some big uh, caves. Caves, a lot of caves here. There you go, camp and pay the farmer 100 pesos, stay the night safe, and you would have permission. Yeah, you could easily do that. You could easily do that. I went yesterday, you know, up in the mountain yesterday. It's two kilometers here from the house, and it was actually really nice. Uh, and those guys are very uh, courteous, and you could easily uh, take a, a tent up there and camp all you want. Now, a lot of the colleges have it to where uh, kids camp. Kids can camp. Okay, go outside, honey. It's okay. Uh, camping. You can camp in a boarding house. A lot of people do that. <coughs> uh, <laughs> you're trying to learn. Okay, Double Dog. Uh, I'm channel this. Yeah, Double Dog, uh, you have no channel. You just got to get one. I, uh, you know what, how they get around here. They get around by family. I don't know if you guys noticed that video I did yesterday. The gentleman sitting there, he's blind. He's like, uh, he can only see, he's got diabetes. He's, he can only see about, he can see shadows. He can't really see. He's guided by a person at all times. They actually guide people by, by the family. It's usually granddaughters, grandsons, uh, cousins, uh, and they're usually with them 24-7. They never leave their grandpa, grandma. They stay with them all the time. Uh, here's an example. I talked to a kid yesterday. What grade you in? I'm in seventh grade. How old are you? I'm 19. I said, why are you 19 in the seventh grade? Well, I had to quit school to stay home with my uh, grandpa. I said, why? He says, he said, Daddy Tom, he can't see, he can't do anything. He can't. He has to go bathroom. He says, I stay home with my grandpa. I said, okay. So that's what they do here. Emily and Sam, you are, thank you, thank you, you're, you're welcome. Emily and Sam, uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, all about in the Philippines, what was this? Hold on, hold on. Uh, there's been you guys. Ken, that kind of, Ken, Act of Kindness has a channel. 
Uh, Little Busy Bee Farm has a channel. Um, let's see, Mr. B, you don't have a channel, do you, Mr. B? Uh, Little Busy, Roy, Men in Algeria has a channel. I see Panay channel. Life in the Philippines as I see it has a channel. Um, you guys, shout out to the Aussie Panay channel. Men in Our Journey has a channel. So you guys, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Just kick back in, put it in here. And if you guys want to post some videos, you can't. I mean, post the links, you can't. Timothy White, Bamboo is Wood. There you go. Uh, and Bag Yo. Yeah, Aussie Panay, you're exactly right. And <clears throat> that's what I love about the Philippines. They will not throw you away. They, they will they will actually take care of you. <clears throat> you know what, John Carter? That's a very good question. I'm going to answer that, but I'm going to answer somebody's up here. What was the other one? Uh, yeah, here it is, uh, Madame. Let's see. I got two businesses when I get there. There you go, Roy. Uh, I was making sure I answer everybody. Qualipur, yeah, Malaysia, yeah, that's exactly right. I had a ticket there. Uh, I had a ticket there one time. It's thirty bucks. Let's see from from Manila. It's four to five six above up on top. There you go, Tom. Yeah, I know houses made of wood or brick in the Philippines. You know, I, I had uh, my 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 bricks. Really, you don't have here. Uh, really, it's done by block concrete. Now steel is the deal. Steel is the deal. Uh, wood. I bought. I bought a couple trees out in the, uh, my brother-in-law's farm. I had it cut with a chainsaw down, and they cut it for long length boards. I need some. Uh, I needed uh, two inch by six inch boards, and they cut a lot of them. Got me some two by fours, and I built the top part of that with with wood. I should have done it with steel. Jimalina, Jimalina tree. <coughs> bamboo, mini bamboo. Yeah, uh, open, ask anything. Okay, John, what's your opinion of certain expenses in Vietnam, lower cost, better infrastructure, etc.? You know what, John? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I heard that Vietnam is a great place to live. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the expenses there. I saw a couple of people, a couple other vloggers, and it seemed that the seemed like the vlog it's more expensive there to me uh it just seems a little bit more expensive i don't know that for sure all i know is here but yeah it's it's a great place to go i understand it's beautiful and the infrastructure is really great there streets are clean you know they have uh, uh concrete highways they have bicycle lanes they have it's, it's clean i understand they're in uh, vietnam yeah ken you're exactly right woodhouse beware of termites are everywhere i want to say uh, that's right. Did I have a problem up here in, the, in this house? Yes. I did have termites attack it uh, and because there's termite mound close to me and they attacked it. So I just basically took some WD-40 and sprayed all over the wood. Now this is painted wood. Oil-based paint painted wood. They still attacked it. I took some WD-40 and sprayed all over the wood and uh, of course it doesn't soak in after it's painted, right? But I just do that, and it, it seemed to stop it. It seemed to stop it for right now. All right, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you, Tom Patrick. 47 watching, nine thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, true. Not as many people speak English there. Uh, and I, 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 I don't know if some of you guys probably been there. But my impression was uh, Americans are not, or foreigners are not, welcome there as much as they are here. Uh, I don't know why. Well, I know why. But my opinion only, and I'm not going to say. But I think you guys tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, my opinion for my friends that actually been to Vietnam said they, they go there to visit, but they won't be there. Because they're, uh, they're rude. And me. So I don't know if that's true or not. You guys tell me. Roy, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, he put up his monthly. I did not see it. See it. Yeah. Yeah, I did not know uh, what Rick. I know he told me uh, last time I talked to him, he's coming back to the Philippines. He, he, in fact, he started advertising on uh, his site for the very first time in. 
ever since he started it. So his he he he'll be coming back. Yeah, good thing about a monster home. Bruce, every <laughs> case trader. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, termites, new problem for me. Think about it. I forgot the South US, then them. You're right, Ken. Ken, termites. They all of a sudden I looked up there, man, there's like forty holes in one of the pieces of wood. I go, what the heck's come to find out the wood when they uh put it up was not treated and I thought it I had them treat all the wood, but uh they missed pieces. And it was, a, and I had to take it off, and it was just eating with termites. But it's not a; I, they, they don't really get in some of the wood there. That's the hard, hard, hard wood. There's some hard wood, and they will not get into that. But some of the softer woods, they just tear that up. But I sprayed with W40, stopped it. Uh, on Helmstown today, she mentioned the number of bombings in the area. Uh, not, the, not that I'm aware of. I was just on the news this morning. Nothing that I'm aware of. If there is, uh, it's not in, it's not in, uh, well, let me say Mindanao is a very huge area. Mindanao goes from uh, CDO to, to Davo. So uh, I did not, we did not see that. I have not aware of it as of yet. So you know how it is. Yes, the Vietnamese, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you know what? Everybody, and, you know, Americans, what are we, right? We are, uh, how, how can I say, we're we're outspoken. So, yeah, I understand what you're saying. It's okay, my Chinese. More fun in the Philippines for me. Rike said it's been an age of two years. Ah, oh, Minute Now Journey, thank you so much this morning. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Minute now journey. Ricky said he tends to be in age two years. Perhaps he changed his mind. You know what, Father Wolves? I let me say what he told me on an email. I said you're going, and you know how he is. It's like on his videos, he'll go long, 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 and he said, "Yeah, for six months." That was it. Yeah, for six months. Oh, okay, whatever. Six months. Okay. What it was? I sent him an email, and. I told him, next time you're up in this area, I want to do an interview with you. Oh, I never get up there. Fine. Then he emailed back, and he saw that I had so many subscribers. Then he said, oh, yeah, I want to do an interview with you. Like that. So, supposedly, we'll see. We'll see. If he gets back up here. If He he he, he has not been to my area yet. Uh, Rick has, uh, thank you. Good day to all. Good morning, Fed Up. Ben and I journey, I want to thank you so much again for your uh, super chat. Thank you so much. Thumbs up. High five, Ben and I journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Orange oil is great for termites. Used. You know what? I heard that. And somebody said, uh, uh, Charles told me, uh, antifreeze? Antifreeze? I don't know. I've never used antifreeze on it, but you could actually use antifreeze on, on, uh, on the wood. It would work, too. Yeah, I'm married to uh, the Filipinas. You guys know my wonderful chit chat. Did you guys see her uh, whistling the other day? Did you guys see that? <laughs> she didn't know I was taping her. She did not know it. She still didn't know because she she gets in her phone. A bomb could go off around her. She not even know it. She just she's into her phone. When she started whistling, I did that. That was I caught her. I caught her off guard with that. Where's the best place to get sushi in the Philippines? Anywhere and everywhere you want to go, they got sushi. There's plenty, plenty, plenty. Good morning, Jeremy and Jen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? Jeremy and Jen has a channel too, guys. So don't forget to subscribe to their channel. Uh, let's see, I'm a good Ken. Acts of Kindness has a channel. Uh, good morning, Father's Worth. Uh, Bruce, don't you have one? Our Men and Our Journey has a channel. Uh, guys, I'm just doing a shout out. Ase Panay uh, has a channel. Little Busy has Double Dog. There's many guys that uh, have channels on here. So, All About the Philippines has a channel on here. Uh, so, subscribe. Um, Tom, Bruce, my area is uh, Mindanao. Mindoro, yeah, okay. Mind Mindoro journey. Oh, yeah, okay. Mindoro Journey has a property island of Oriental uh, Mindoro. We have 
this here Mindanao, um, we have, it's such a huge, huge, huge area. It is is really huge. Uh, it it goes from it goes from like CDO all the way to Davo. It's really big. Yeah, I'll say Panay. Yeah, he saw saw I had many subs, and he goes, "Oh, I'll do a, I'll do a I'll do a video with you." Yeah, no worries. It is funny, Mindoro. I'm sorry. Our Mindoro journey has a website. Uh, I mean a channel. And you, you can tell, you can tell I miss Chet Chet today. You can tell, right? She is my, she she does this to my leg. Like, read this, read, welcome this person, welcome this person. And I miss her this morning. Yeah, she's, uh, sorry about that, uh, Mindoro journey. Uh, yeah, he changed his mind. Well, it's the Finn show. He just did a video with Cheryl and explaining what happened. Yeah, uh, you know, we I watch I watch a lot of the a lot of these guys are actually we all kind of stick together. We're actually um, compadres. You know, we uh, help each other out. We do shout outs to each other. Yeah, I, I watch uh, Finn show. Jeremy and Jen, I do. I watch Finn show. I watch all those guys. I watch Finn show. I watch uh, Philo. I watch even uh, Foz Fazio. Uh, Good morning, good morning, JG. Good morning, Philo. I watch all this. Morning, folks. How you doing, JG? Ah, JG has a channel now. I saw he's got two videos on it. Maybe put three. Don't forget about JG. Subscribe to his channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, religion, religion and politics. I, I kind of stay away. Double dog, double dog. I don't know if he did any videos yet. Yeah, good morning, Cheryl. How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. She's a good singer and a great whistler. Uh, hi, R.R. Cheryl says hi. Hello. Double Dog, how's your new work? I've asked him three or four times. He's not answering me. I don't think he likes his job. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can treat your property. Yeah, you can. You can actually. You, they actually sell, uh, uh, it's like a form of DDT. Uh, it's. They got some stuff. You can actually buy it here. <coughs> Over the counter. Hello, in day. Yes, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh good morning. Oh. Yeah, th there you go. I think Ben and I, the only problem here is the west side of the island going down the Isle of uh Jolo. Jolo. Other than that, it's pretty quiet. Uh you wanna sit over here? Come over here, Seth. Come here. Yep, this is my baby. Come over here. Did you comb your hair? No, oh, okay. All right, this is my baby right here. Yeah, there you go, Tom Patrick. 35, 33 thumbs up, 55 watching. Thumbs up. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Maduro. I, I am the work. Am I right? I mispronounce and forget, forget people's names, right? Yeah. Daddy does that all the time. And I have to ask R.R. R. I said, R.R., how do you say that word? So, sorry, our Mindoro journey. Thank you for that. Uh, state of mind. Uh, looks, got your back. <laughs> aloha, L-A-W. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Say, say aloha. Aloha. There you go. You know what that means? No. No? That means... Uh, I think it means good morning, right? Yeah. In what? In, in Hawaiian. Uh. Aloha. Or hiya. Uh, good morning there from Philippines with love. Good morning. Cheche, good morning. Jeremy Jin. Where is where is Cheche? Doing laundry. And how much more she got to do? Uh, hey, so that's many. Yeah. Yeah. And so mommy will be a while. Here in Three hours. In four hours. I uh, hey, no, she should be done and yeah. done quickly. Sorry, I hit that thing. Good morning, M. Jane. How are you doing this morning? Uh, Asipane, mopping the floor. 
Yeah. <laughs> Same, more fun on Tim. Thank you, Ken. Yeah, Ken. Ken has a channel, too. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. My maternal grandma from Cagayan, they're all familiar with food, culture, and language, Visayan. This one, hope to do it again. How now? Yeah, there you go. Teresa, you know, I love talking to uh, the people that, uh, like uh, grandmas and grandpas that have been here for a long, long, long time. Uh, and uh, that gentleman yesterday uh, that was in my one of my videos yesterday that we did, went up the mountains, he's worked hard all his life, family guy, he's 63 and he can't walk and he's almost blind because he's worked himself to death on those farms. Uh, look at you, what are you doing? Look, see how you look on there? Uh -huh. I see you. No, I'm looking at you in the yeah. video. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Tom. Was on the phone. That's so rude of me. I really, I, oh, feel blessed about my new job. Ah, okay, good. So you are happy. Good. <laughs> he's happy he's got a job. He's happy. Uh, Ken, MJ, yeah, they're, they're working out. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, MJ's got a channel. That's right, guys. MJ's got a channel. So, uh, subscribe to her channel. Um, she's a, a lady. She's OFW in Taiwan. Ah, uh, hello. What, look, Cheryl's asking you a question. What does it say? Read it. Read it. Hi, RR. It's good to see you. Do you still love Hello Kitty stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Everything in her room is Hello Kitty. Mm. Yeah. Uh, her cups, her glasses, if she can have it. I forgot to tell you. Where does those two little stickers on Daddy's cup though? They where those two little stickers come from? Mm, mm, mine. <laughs> you put them on Papa's, didn't you? Huh? I will show. I uh, you already showed everybody. Saw it last week. Uh, yeah, I showed everybody. Yeah, thank you for that. It caught me. Thank you. Very nice that you do that. Yeah, R R is here. She, uh, mommy had her cleaning. Did you get all your cleaning done? Mm -hmm. She has to do the bathroom, sweep upstairs in the blessing house, then. You have to clean your room, clean your laundry, uh, mop the floor, and did you have to do the bathroom too? Here? Or just there? No. There. Just blessing house bathroom. So, and what else? That's it, right? Mm. And are you tired? Then uh, you're tired now. Uh. Yeah. Uh. That's how she answers. Uh. It's like Cheche. Uh. Can you whistle like mommy? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Chris in Mindanao, Chris in Cebu does it every time too. Our daughter's name is R.R. R. Rachel. R.R. R. And her name is Rachel Ray. Hi. <laughs> Ray. My true name is Rachel. My nickname is R.R. R. There you go. And she is 10. Going on 20. Hi. Oh, hey. You try to box your papa around all the time. No way. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Uh, I had to look for her yesterday. As we know, in America, you had to look for your family members. Here, I did not see her R for 30 minutes. I said, actually, longer than that. She went up the mountain. Mm -hmm. But she didn't tell her daddy she's going up on the mountain. <laughs> yeah, he, he snuck. I told mommy. Yeah, you told mommy. It's okay, as long as you know. Uh Oh, hello and goodbye. Aloha. Hello, goodbye. I love you. There you go. Okay. Hello, goodbye. See, that's what that means. Aloha, hello, or goodbye. Um, yeah, let's go to Hawaii. Oh, Madame Gashaguruko has a channel. Everybody take a look at her channel, please. Subscribe. Uh, yes, I sure can. I sure can. Ranger Rider TV. Ranger Rider TV has a channel also. Double -double. MJ, and all you guys, please take a look. Ken, uh, all about the Philippines. Take a look at their channel. Please subscribe if you don't mind or look at it. And see if you're interested in it. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Like, they subscribe and unsubscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It don't hurt anything to subscribe. Yeah, my baby is cute. Real sweet. Are you sweet? Yeah, but I'm not cute. I'm big enough. You're big enough? Oh. Yeah, you're... I'm not cute. You are cute. No, I'm not. I think you are. <laughs> no? No. And yeah, and you're are you good? Sometimes, sometimes not. <laughs> She's sometimes good, sometimes not, she says. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, isn't she pretty? She is to me. Ah, 
I used to work at the Hello Kitty warehouse in San Francisco back in 95. Could you imagine you're in there at Hello Kitty? Like all the cups and hats. Where would you have? So can you buy me this and that, right? Yeah, can you buy all of this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want the Hello Kitty. When this is will be the mine, I will put Hello Kitty stickers on. You would? If this house is yours, you would have Hello Kitty on the whole house? Wow, that's a lot of Hello Kitty. I can't take all that pink. Just stop yeah. by. Serge, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, saying hi to everybody. Good morning, good morning. How we doing? She's not here yet. Not that I'm aware of, but MJ's here. Every, a lot of the people here. No need for a maid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I told her. She's so lucky. She saw those kids yesterday hauling water about one kilometer down the mountain, and they're five. And I said, they got to carry the water back up the mountain. Could you do what they do yesterday? No. It was hard. It would be hard, wouldn't it? Yeah. Imagine you're five and six had to carry that water. Mm. They were carrying. Yeah. Yeah, it would be horrible, wouldn't it? No need for a maid. Yeah. I'm going uh, to take her there. Yeah. Mayasawa and second and also says how cute your daughter is. Thank you, I, our Mindoro journey. Thank you. Yeah, she is. She's a good little girl. Sometimes she is, uh... Bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I will have an attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes she'll have attitude. See, she even knows it. And so what does daddy do? What do I say? You need to stop like that. That's it. Sometimes I will get afraid of his voice. Mm. She gets afraid of my voice sometimes. Huh? But Daddy, what? You get to have anything you want, right? Or do you? Do you? Yeah? Do you have all the stuff you need? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, I'll say Panay. What languages are you fluent in? Mm. Can you speak t uh, Tagalog? Yeah. Little. Little. How about English? Mm. Mm. Uh, Bisaya. Yeah. Is Bisaya the same as Cebuano? Yeah. Yeah. What else can you speak? No more. No more. She's 10. So can you imagine? She speaks better English than most. Now get this. She's always she's always spoke English. Not because of me. When I came in a relationship, she was 7. Now she's 10. Or 6 and something, whatever. Before I was on daddy's. Yeah, yeah she's on my hip. Now she's up to my shoulder in height and she's 10. She's going to be a tall girl. Uh, yes, yeah, Serge. Good morning, Serge. How you doing? Yeah, she does. She has her... She does. She is... She does. She actually... She actually wraps everything around it. It's just, Daddy, can I have... Uh, sometimes I have a problem. Now, we found a bicycle for her. <laughs> now, I would buy her a bicycle, but I'm afraid somebody's going to take it. Especially some of the boys. <coughs> yeah. We... See, I have muscle. <laughs> Daddy, I? See? Uh, yeah, there you go, Ken. Ranger Rider, 28 subscribers. Me, number 29. Tim, thanks for the new su uh, subs. Now hugs. Ken, you you are a... Ken is a great guy. Uh, I'll, I'll, he's just a good guy. Uh, Serge... How you say that? Oh, 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 he's talking to her. He's talking to somebody else. Oh, he's talking to everybody. Okay, hi, Serge. Um, let's see. I'm making sure. Oh, I have daughter. I'm calling her Diana. There you go. There you go, Madame. Ah, uh, oh, nice daughter, Miss Ray. Yeah. Ah, nice daughter, Miss Ray. What is your favorite cake from your mom? Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty cake. Yeah. And uh, cupcakes too. Yeah. Does your mom make good cakes? Yeah. Aren't they the best? Are they the best in the world? Yeah. See my hair move. Yeah, well, I can't get my hair to move. <laughs> Ah, Maduro Journey, good. 
Two girls, 12 and 16, and our 16-year-old made the high school cheer team today. Ah, congrats, congrats. That's very nice. Yeah, 12 and 16, ah. Huh? Ah, see, you see the seven-year-old has made $22 million a year named Ryan Toy Review. I'm just giving her an idea. There you go. Ah, oh, look who's in here. Just peek over and say hi, darling. Like, like that. Just say hi. Hello. <laughs> look here, Chit-Chat. Uh, uh, uh. They love her, Chit-Chat. They love her. Let her read the questions. Yeah, let her read questions. MJ, yeah, good morning. Yeah, she's a very tall little girl. She really is. Uh, Chet, Chet, did you get your laundry done? Uh, Most? Okay. I won't say. Uh, I speak English and Brooklynese. No kidding. There is a special language in Brooklyn. I heard your, uh, JG, I heard your video uh, yesterday. And I said, boy, I could tell he's from up in, up in uh, Northern Park. Good morning. Good morning. Just subscribe. Derek Wallace. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you, thank you. There are many people have channels on here. Uh, you know, take a look at some of the guys on here, and please, please uh, subscribe. Uh, Tom, Ken, they subscribe. Uh, let's see, let's see. Mr. B, Mr. B, you're going. Okay, folks, need to go. Oh, Father Works, Father Wolf. Sorry, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you for uh, spending your wonderful time with us today. Thank you for taking the time out. Yeah, have a good day, Father Wolf. Have a good day. What, uh, what time you're writing? Huh? What time are you writing? I am at uh, 9.07. I'm just at M. Jane. Do you not subscribe? I'll watch the video because if you just subscribe, your description will be gone. What this is, are as it pops in here, there's a delay. And you just read here, and if there's anybody come on that I need to see till Mama gets dressed, you just a knock on your papa. Oh, Emily and says good says good morning. Good morning, Tess. She says good morning too. Uh, Ken says peekaboo. <coughs> Is marble racing? Yeah. Oh, good morning, Philippine on demand. Good morning, good morning. Isn't she adorable? Yes, this is her name is Rachel. It's not Rachel. I get I get on trouble. Rachel, not Rachel. Let's see, Daddy, you need to practice. It's your daughter's name. See, see, you see that? You guys heard that, right? Okay, it's your daughter's name. I need to practice. Uh, Men and out Kiwi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Philippines on demand. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, how are you guys doing this morning? Philippines on Demand also has a channel this morning, guys. Men and Out Kiwi has a channel. You guys take a look at their channels, so please uh, give a shout out and please subscribe to them. Uh, Ossie Panay, Timothy White, good morning, POD. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Open forum this morning. Ask any questions you want. Uh, we've actually talked about a few things already this morning. M. Jane, I have a son, nine year old, named Michael. Good. Ah, oh, that's very nice. M. Jane is very nice. Oh, it might be your new new uh, husband one day. No way, I won't have a husband. Ah, MJ, we'll get them together, huh? Well, about when they're uh, 20... Daddy? Yeah, nine. Boy, I will not have boyfriend. You're not going to have boyfriend, but she has crush, but we won't have boyfriend. Okay, I guess it's different. Yeah. Daddy, It's true. The guy, good morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless, good bless. God bless. Uh, Lagaya, uh, Ruchi had to go do laundry this morning, guys. This reason she's running late. And she did laundry and had to do her things. And uh, so, obviously, she's finished. She's uh, taking a shower. We're getting cleaned up. Uh, Tom, are you aware about Article uh, 13? I don't know. I don't know what uh, Article thir 13 is. Uh, Lagaya, are you leaving? Oh, I didn't know you were leaving. Have a nice day. Lagaya, thank you for coming on and saying hi this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheryl, I'm not familiar with Article 13. Uh, my parents, I think, don't know, boys, still finish college. Oh. See? There you go. you got to finish college, college first. Oh, Article 13. I think I know what it is. Yeah, it is. Ar solar panel. Huh? About solar. Oh! 
Double dog. No, I. you know what? I am going to go do that this week, and I'm going to price out some solar. They just got in town. I'm going to find out if it's any cheaper, and then I'm going to have to find out some type of battery pack for it. Look, what's MJ? MJ, uh, Derek Wallace, maybe 13A, yeah. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Any news on solar panel double dog? I will find out about that this week. I sure will. And uh, just went outside. <laughs> Jeremy Jim. <laughs> Jeremy Jim's cold. Ah, I hate that. I hate that feeling, that shivering. Um, yeah, MJ says, if you saw my son, you'll have crush on him. Hey. No. Ah. Uh, I don't know what Article 13 is either. About YouTubers or vloggers. It, it's about YouTube or vloggers, but I think somewhere in Europe. You know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, 13A... 13. I don't know what it is. It's a, a law about YouTubers or vloggers. Uh, explain. Explain, if you don't mind, Cheryl. Uh, what lies so... Uh, what does that mean? Huh? What do you read that? I, you're welcome. You're welcome, huh? Huh? I sold her off Lazada. I built an 8-inch panel slice. You know what? I can't... It's a good idea. Uh, solar, I... I'm going to tell you, I I love solar. Uh, it's free. Panels are not, batteries are not. So for Sick Man Place, can you check that out? For Sick Man Place. Yeah, ma Madame, explain to me. Daddy. Yeah. Ah, Serge. Thank you, thank you this morning, Serge. <coughs> Excuse the cough. I apologize for coughing on the on live. I, I apologize for that. I don't like people. Uh, Seven fifteen in Texas. Time for a beer. Serge, again, thank you. I look in there. You see what he said? What does it say? Read that. What Serge did. Bring just somewhere fun. Read it out loud so they can see that. Bring the child somewhere fun, please. So what's what would you like to do for fun? Mm. Go to 7 Eleven? Yeah. Okay. She loves 7 Eleven, guys. Why do you love 7 Eleven? Because they have ice cream. Okay. So, Serge, we're going to go buy ice cream for everybody today. And probably a sandwich. And probably icy. And I don't know what else. Slurpee. Sl uh, Slurpee. Yeah. Th Ooh, watch your little footsie, darling. Uh, Sorry. It's okay, darling. Bring a child. I will. <laughs> Serge, thank you. Thank you. Cool bike. <laughs> they can't thank you. Yeah, bike money. I could do bike money. Ah, do you? Yeah, I like Slurpee. Do you? Uh, pork pie. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome on our channel this morning. Yeah, our, our does love Slurpees. They're always, always, always out of Slurpee. Am I right? Yeah. And then up the, up the city of 7 Eleven, they don't have Slurpee. At CDO 7-Eleven, they don't have it. In our store, they don't have it. Why? I don't know. Well, what but do you think? before they have here. Yeah. yeah. Can you guys see the resemblance between her and her mother? Can you guys see how... Well, of course, she don't do this. Chicha don't do this all the time. But you can actually see the resemblance, right? Thank you again, Serge. I want to thank you very much, 7-Eleven. Yeah, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven... Is the new hangout in the Philippines for all? You, no matter where you go, Seven Eleven and Manila, wherever you go, CDO, Dabo, everybody's hanging out Seven Eleven. It's the kids hangout, guys. Yeah, you're a crowd. Yeah, thank you so much, Serge. Tell, tell Serge, thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle Serge. Uh, Uncle Serge, hi. I see, see. Thank you, thank you. So that right there just makes you melt. Uh, the famous line in the Philippines. <laughs> sorry, I stopped. <laughs> Every time I turn around, oh, you don't have it? no. You get it in? I don't know. Well, can you order? I don't know. <laughs> I do that on product. Can you get that? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
It's a bad out of product. Like, read it, read it out loud. Go ahead and read it out loud, darling. That bad out of product, like Jelly Bean, no fries cry for you. Yeah, and that's from Hello, Ken. Adam. That's from Ken. He said that. That's right. I like fries. I do too. <laughs> yeah. And Jeremy and Jen says what? What does Jeremy and Jen say? Yeah, she is a spitting image of her mother. She really is. She really is. She really is. So, okay. And read Madame's next one. Say Madame said this. Where? Right there. Madame Gas Hadukuru yeah. in Philippines. Some article 13 is. Watch your little footsie, darling. Copyright for Europe made by Louder. <laughs> that day. It's okay, just read, darling. It's okay. Take your time. Take Europe your time. Plan to censor internet and force Google to pay music artists more money they don't need. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about that article. I really don't. Uh, Double Dog. Dang, that was super cute here in R. Say thank you to Surge. I know. I thought the same thing. Isn't that, wasn't that sweet? Wasn't that sweet? And they do that to me, and it makes me melt every time. All this called a 7-Eleven. Hey, I know! Oh, this, oh. Okay, I didn't know that. Huh? Oh, nothing, honey. A, a scoping. Scoping. You don't know what that word means. Daddy. Uh-huh. Double dog, uh-huh. No, sir. JG, my good word, sharing it, works at 7-Eleven. Yeah, well, JG, you know what? 7-Eleven is just a hot spot now for the younger crowd. And uh, as Nelson says, a lot of them hang out trying to find, find, try and find someone. Ladies are at 7-Eleven always running out scooping for us. Ah, I know now what's the meat mean. Oh, Ladies you do? Ladies are going to 7-Eleven for scooping foreigners. Yeah, what's that? Why? Why would they do that, Art? I don't know. I don't either. It's not really good to do that, you know? Yeah. You're not going to go 7-Eleven to be doing that. I ain't going to let you. No. When you're 40, you're going to still be here with, with your papa. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to still take care of your papa, right? Serge said, I, get on. I have one nice and one cousin now. Yeah. And what that means, honey, she has one niece and one cousin Serge has. I Yes, it's niece. But it's okay. You're doing an excellent job reading. Yeah. You can't, I, I thought there's no E. Yeah, you can't be the lime and soda. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Yeah, and your English good. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy and Jen. There you, there you go. There you go. I mean, auntie and, and uncle... <laughs> Jen, uh -huh. Jen, yeah, it's no, it's Jeremy and Jen, yeah, that's right. It's Jeremy is the guy and Jen is the lady. Oh, thank you, Uncle Jeremy, and thank you, Auntie Jen. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Betty, look. What? Here. What's that? Pork pie. You can't beat a lime, lime and cola slurpee. Cola yeah. Slurpee. Yeah. Tom was the classified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, message to R for my daughter. Hello, Ate, Ate. Hello? Uh, Ate? Where? Right there. From, I, hello, Ate, like. Yeah, I know. Sir Liner, you're excited. Hey, welcome, Sir Liner. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'll be over whatever, 100. <laughs> you're right, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah, let's see. You should be 40. She's 10 now. It's just 30 more years. I'd be 90, 93, you're right, 94, 95, something like that. Yeah. Hey, ooh, you have changed my diaper. No. No way, she says. Mommy will. Mommy will, okay. I don't want to see your poop. I don't want to either. I don't want to see it either. Okay. <laughs> um. Betty, here, oh, good night all the time for me to go all have a great day or night. Roy Martinez, thank you so much for coming on today, and thank you for spending your time with us, and we enjoyed it. Minnie the said, I hope I live to be 100. Yeah, me too. I, I hope I am too. I hope I live to be 100, so she can push me around in a wheelchair. 
E-bike will hover by yeah. the Yeah, Ken, Ken, I know. I know. Can you imagine? Did you guys see that there is a gentleman here invented uh, one? Uh, you know? Serge is going. Serge, no. See? No, he's saying bye to Roy. Yeah. yeah. Family first and here of us supporting Tom and Ruth Myers. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Forget that. Forget that word. Never mind. You're right. I don't know how we got into that. You always get into that word. You're the one. That's right. Did you know, I say? Yeah, yeah, because you said change my diaper. Oh, okay. Well, That's I won't do it. Okay. Well, I won't be doing that then. Yeah. 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 So, what grade are you in this year? 10 out of kindness. Hover girl like blue ball fly in China. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be flying around in a hover car here in probably the next few years. Hover car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next few years, they guy have, up in Manila have invented one. Here? Yeah, a guy. I in, the one in the in TV. Universe. Yeah, the guy invented that one, right? Remember that? Yeah. Uh, so what what grade you in? Five. Okay. Are you gonna uh, uh, pass with honors this year? Yeah, because because when I in second grade, I'm top seven. There you go. Yeah, she's trying to get honors again this year. I want her to do best she can in school. Sometimes it's really hard to stay or to get focused. Yeah, because Daddy said if I won't honor, I won't have phone. That's why I'm trying hard. Yeah. So that I have a phone like Mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have... Uber, they, uh, they have Globe. I mean Globe. They have uh, Grab, Grab, Grab. They have Grab. Yeah. Daddy, thank yeah. you, King of... Uncle King, out of kindness. Thank there you, you go. Thank you. Yeah, uh, they do. They have grab. Yeah, better in a private school, Migo. You're right. Exactly right. She's in public now. Daddy. Uh, but she will be going to private. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, grab. Uh, grab does really good for us. We actually, we had, grab did really good. How many times were we in a taxi the last few days in uh, CDO? Many. Yeah. More than five, more than six, more than ten, you right? What is amigo? Amigo, amigo is uh, a, a, Spa a Spanish like uh, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Pri private school. You're gonna go, Timothy White. Message retracted. <laughs> when is Ruth joining? Double dog. Ruth is gonna be joining chat in the next five, ten minutes or less. Cha cha. Unsa. Unsa cha cha. We're loud. Okay. That means you'll be here in about five. Um, Girlfriend. Girlfriend in Malaybala, but never made it there since we used to met in Manila. Never made it to Mindanao. You could actually come to Mindanao, guys. Uh, uh, fly into Davo, fly into CDO. Uh, really enjoyable. Jeremy. Beautiful area. Jeremy Jin. You know what? I tell you what, guys. Uh, grab set fee forty peso, but grab is cool because you're not going to have a taxi driver and they control them. And what I mean by that is, say I want to go to point A, point B, and the guy's going to say, "I don't know where it's at." They have GPS, automatic. It tells them where to go, so they can't give you an excuse. And it's flat rate, meaning it's forty peso, and then you pay. So it costs us 100 pesos, 150, two to three dollars to go 10 kilometer one time. One time it costs same amount going, you know, further, seem like further. But it's all about uh, the feeling more comfortable. Now we had one driver out of the grab was bad. He did, said, oh, you got five of you and uh, it doesn't matter to have you one, one to five. It doesn't matter. It's the same, same rate. Um, Taxi is, says one to five people accepted. So, uh, is there anything? Is there this? Uh, yeah, there you go, madam. <laughs> there you go, madam. Yeah, you know. Uh, there you go, M. Jane. I'm speaking poop. I often bring grandpa poop here. There you go. No. Okay, what kind of phone are you going to get, Serge? Ask. What kind of phone are you going to get? What? I want iPhone. 
I, you do? Yeah, I what? don't know why. So you don't know why, because why? Because the camera is nice. Selfies? Yeah. So? That's why daddy won't let me be on his phone because it will be full of my face. I let her borrow my phone one time, went in there, and I, I don't know. I, I would say more than 20, 30 selfies in there within just a few minutes. So I just imagine what it'll be on her her phone. And I'm controlling the phone uh, up to a certain limit. Good morning, Russ. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm controlling the phone uh, because, uh, you know, the chit-chatting and things like that. Uh, but she's going to get a phone. She don't need a phone. She has a phone. It's a little phone about this big. And it's only for texting and phone calls. It's this big, literally, this big. Daddy, see? Russ yeah, what do you say? iPhone, iPhone is, is a good, a good choice. choice. Yeah. But daddy call it I junk. I had them. He has many. I had many. I had he did iPhone not give 6, me one. 6 plus, whatever, 6 plus, whatever, whatever. Uh, what does it say? Did I miss anybody? Uh, here we go. Okay, don't want to miss it. But well, I buy his best clean city paint fresh in 2000 and ever. 11. Yeah, Jeremy and Jen, don't buy a car for a while. Maybe you don't buy a car at all. That's what I was going to talk about today. Uh, best thing to do. Yeah, thank you. CDOs, but it, you're right. It is a long way from city. Sir Liner, you're exactly right. Uh, they do have a nice airport. TikTok. Yeah, and they can't take you around in circles. You're exactly right. And they do that. They do that here. Uh, iPhone's a good choice. I'll double dog them. It's my work. iPhone is overpriced. Um, Debbie Lomberall, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Hello, hello. Uh, Jim, Jim Alner, good morning, good morning, good morning, Jim. How are you doing this morning? I only saw one iPhone. Everything was Android. Yeah, Galaxy, Galaxy 5, Galaxy, I have a Galaxy 3 or 4 in there, and she wanted that one, now she wants the iPhone, but before she wanted the Samsung Galaxy, and we have another phone, Android, then she said she wanted this uh, Mi Max, Mi Max phone, so, yeah, she probably does deserve it, you're probably right, and I could just grab the phone from her, and uh, not give her the data that she could be on phone at lunch and on YouTube and all those other things that she should be studying. But I like, but my cousin said they like their phone, the Samsung. Yeah. It's better than uh, the phone. Yeah, there you go. Said. But yeah. I like iPhone. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how that is. Uh, Abaha RE. Timothy White, you exactly get a Baja. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Get something, just get around town, go to the store. Uh, you go in the market, go in the mall. Really easy. Uh, car is, uh, you're going to find, especially in CDL, if you're going to CDL, you're going to have a hard time parking there. It's uh, Parking, parking, parking is a problem. Uh, <laughs> iPhone comes with a maid. Your supply of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, iPhone, there you go. Yeah, you know what? I had iPhone for years too, and I, I, uh, my company gave me an iPhone. Well, I work for iPhone, so I had the iPhone. I had the best iPhone. And every time I turn around every six months, I'm getting a new phone. But it just, I don't know, just never really throw me too much. Yeah, old girlfriend's daughter, private international, so I could give her advantage since I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, she, she'll go to private school next year probably. Uh, and uh, my wife's sister's daughter's in private school. You can only speak English. They check the bags. No phones are allowed in the school at all. If the phone is found in their possession, they actually take it and they don't get it back until the end of school year. So you don't get it back tomorrow or next week. Phone's gone forever. So, and they tell them, they make that strict rules. They have strict rules. Check the bags before they go into school. Check the bags when they leave school by guard. I mean, open the bag, take things out, look. 
and uh, they they keep an eye on things. And the reason why they do that is is they're trying to keep the kids rounded, um, and where they just learn. And if they ask a question, it's in English. So uh, very much, it's very important. So, and and not only that, if they don't speak English and they hear Visaya, they go at the end of the line. Yeah, Pedro. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Pedro? Yeah, iPhones are very expensive. You're exactly right. Uh, I had to replace it twice for an iPhone. It's worked well. You know what? iPhone, I never had a problem with my iPhone. I never did. It always worked and it was good. I just like, I'm an Android kind of guy. I thought I was an iPhone kind of guy. And I was for uh, quite a few years when the iPhone first came out. And then, of course, remember the expensive they were then. Uh, it's much better. I need to clean it and organize my garden. No more product. Have a good day. All right, Austin Panay Channel. You guys take a look at the channel. Please subscribe uh, to Ospinay Channel. Uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for coming on today, and we appreciate it. And appreciate you taking your time to come on, and thank you very much. Double Dog, have you had a mosquito break into your house yet? Chacha, did, did you have a mosquito last night? No, not yet. Daddy, look. Yeah. Can Octopus use the whistle phone? <laughs> ah. Name that tune. Really? We're gonna have you do a whistle on on to make iPhone tunes, and you do a whistle a song. What? Any song you want? Yeah. What? Yeah. Here, she's whistling over there. Um. Do you have Wi-Fi at your house? I had really good luck with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jim, I do. That's what we have here now. We have we have all you can get in the Philippines. I have PLDT here, and I have, which she's on the PLDT, and then I have Globe, which that's what we're on now, and I'm doing it wirelessly because my phone, uh, I, I broke my laptop. And I can't plug in the Ethernet thing to do it, so we're doing Wi-Fi now. So it makes it easier. And that Globe Wi-Fi is $23 a month, and the PLDT, the Globe is for 150 gig, and the PLDT is 50 gig for uh, $21. So it gives you an idea on how much everything uh, is on that. So... Yeah, 150 gig, 50 gig. So we have 200 gig a month. And, uh, knock on wood. Yeah, later, later, I'll say Panay channel. Going to Mignanilla. 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 Cebu. Ah, say it one more time, Chet Chet. Mignanilla. Cebu. Say it one more time. Minglanilia Cebu. That's where he's going. Mignalia. Mingla. Mingla Nilia. Mingla Nilia. Cebu. Cebu. I can never speak the language. I get tired. Wet mark 20 minutes away. Um Tom, I think Galaxy 3 or 4. Yeah, that's what we have. Uh, we I had the three and then no I got iPhone. the four. Uh, no iPhone. Chacha says she's not getting iPhone. She's getting a Galaxy. If anything, right, Chacha? Keypad. Keypad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keypad only. No luxury, luxury phone. No luxury, luxury phone. Chacha says. Uh. It's, uh, it's 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 very easy for. Yeah. It's very tempted for thieves. Yeah, tempted for thieves. You're right. You're right. Uh, Baja, try, yeah. Good morning, Pedro. I think I said good morning to you, but good morning. Thank you for coming on our channel this morning. Yeah, U.S. schools started to take us to Philippine schools. I would like to see these kids start cleaning their own school. You know what, too? And they're strict on uniforms here. I mean, very strict on uniforms. Uh, Amijin has to wear a uniform, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, some Philippines would say there. Emily and son, you're exactly right. Some will sell anything and everything just to get an iPhone. 
gadget, gadget, gadget here is something that's very, very, very important. Right, Chicha? Food is important than iPhone. Yeah. What's more important? Food. Food. She's right. Food is more important. Our men in our journey. We'll subscribe to everyone that subscribes to our channel after we're done watching Tom's great live stream. Thank you, guys. So you guys see any of these channels that's on here, please subscribe to them, and they'll subscribe back to you. Uh, what YouTube is doing now. And don't forget to subscribe to uh, Ruth and Tom's channel also. But most of you already are. Uh, Pedro, don't you have a channel, Pedro? <clears throat> I am Jenny has a channel. Men and Out uh, Kiwi has a channel, uh, and that's his wife. So, um, I uh, look who I have here. Hello. Hello. Look here, guys. Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Here, let me turn it this way to my girls. There we go. There we go. There's my girls. There you go. Yeah. See. There's my girls right there. Ah, light. Oh, that made a difference. Huh? You need mama, though. Yeah, you need mama. We always need mama. <laughs> Look at I am Jenny. She says, hi, Jenny. Good morning. Go ahead and say hi. Hi, Some... everyone. Hi. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Good morning. Here, let me reach that real quick. Excuse me. Any vehicle ships to the Philippines cannot be older than five years. There you go. I did not know that. R oh, hi, R R. Hmm. R R still here. <clears throat> hi. You read all the story? Yeah, uh, R R can tell you how far we got to. How do we go? Uh, we got right here, right to here. No, not at the moment. Okay. Yeah. This is where we got to, 937. Uh, Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, Pedro, no worries. Uh, when you do get one, just, we'll be here. So, no worries. <clears throat> I'm one of those guys got, that will give a shout out to everybody because we're all in the same boat. No Put matter. On demand set. I subscribed to many here. Let's upload this morning. Hi, I'm Ruth. Hi, Philippine on Demand. Good yeah, morning. Philippine on Demand. Good morning, good morning. Philippine on Demand has a great channel, new channel. <laughs> we saw it was great. More power, more love. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got the whole family, all youngs here. The whole family love you guys. Love you more. Yeah. Uh, we had... Um, it's, it's funny, this morning we uh, there was up, I, I don't know how many it was, when I first got on this morning, 50, 60 people was on this morning, and um, I couldn't I couldn't keep up. I was behind. Mindanao Journey. Tom, you are the only guys on here that I hear promoting other channels this much. Our awesome man, thanks for all the shout out. Mindanao Journey, you're so welcome, because I tell you, uh, t the reason why I do that is because I know how it is to start out and have nothing. And people say, oh, you got your start. Everybody did shout out for you. No. Nobody did no shout out for me. I did a video, that one video that I did, I got a 1,000 subscribers overnight. And how that one video, which put me over the top, and I got the 1,000 subscribers. And... I realize there's so, so many out there just struggling to get to a thousand. Once you get a thousand, it's still struggling because not everybody watches. And then when they say they watch, YouTube now is taking, I had 79 subscribed to my channel yesterday and 34 was taken away by YouTube. Hello, 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 Chi Chi from Jeremy and Jane. My buntag, Jeremy and Jane. We're all good. My Rami. Uh, Jim Elnor. I will moving to Las Piña City March 13 or it's We are excited for you. I don't know where that is. But excited. In Manila. In Manila. Excited, Jim. We're excited that you're coming. And if you need any help or need anything, feel free to yell. We're here to help you. We can't do it. We can always talk by phone or whatever. I'm here to help anybody and everybody here in the Philippines for anything they need. And, uh, I agree. I was done giving up till I found Tom and Ruth's channel. You know what? Don't give up on anything. Never give up anything. Right, Chet Chet? Mm -hmm. Just always move on. That's exactly right. Because 
if you pick up 10 subscribers, you'd be surprised that those 10 can generate you more than you know. I have, I have people say, oh, Tom, you did this. No, I did it like everybody else, one subscriber at a time. And you don't wake up one day with 20,000 subscribers. Did you guys know this? I did some research. 90% of the people that's on YouTube now, 90% have 10,000 subscribers or less. 90. The other 10% are the ones that have the 10,000 and above, 30, 40, 50, 60,000, up to a million. Only 3%. 3% on YouTube are the million view people. Those are the ones the algorithm picks up, and that's the reason you have all the views that they have. We don't have them down here because we're too small. You know, we're just a small niche, very small niche, <coughs> even even seven, 8,000. Although Tom is a high-quality knucklehead, love these guys. He puts up channels of blast to them, though. Thank you, Double Dog. Thank you, Dub. High and five, Knucklehead. Extra 40 percent subscriber only watch YouTube's video, and the rest are busy promoting theirs too. 219. Yeah. Out of 219 are a bunch of new YouTubers. Pedro, Pedro, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Tom, you're a good man. Jim Elmer. Uh, uh, it's about. Yeah, cups. Las Pinas is uh, Manila. It's about in. GB, hi guys. Good Hello. morning, good morning. morning, GB. Good morning. Yeah, Jeremy and Jen, you're exactly right. Here's the thing, guys. The key to this is this, and I'm going to say this. If you subscribe to somebody's channel, support them. If you support them, they'll support you back. If they don't support you back, don't worry about them. They will still come back to you one way or another. You, you forget something, question from Serge? I'm sorry, did I forget a question from Serge? Uh, I would just review. Yes. She's gonna look, Serge. Sorry. Sorry, I was I didn't have my my big helper this morning. I had my little helper, which did R R, thank you. You did an excellent job. Thank you, R. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Good. good. Everything except iPhone. Yeah. We're making sure we answer everybody's questions properly, but I'm just going to say this to you, you finally. You have the phone if you get your exam. Yeah. You if, uh, so if all stick together and help each other and subscribe, I don't care who you are. If you got 100 subscribers, don't worry about it. If you got 50, don't worry about it. You can grow your channel one day at a time. It's one. It's a job. If you want to do it, you can. There's 2019. Within the next this year alone, you're going to see a lot of YouTubers. Just a lot of them give up. That's coming on in 2019. You guys see them a lot of giving up because to grow your channel now, you actually got to give good content. So just just enjoy yourself. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anybody else. Never worry about anybody else. If you do, you're spending too much time there to worry about yourself. Don't ever worry about them. Have fun. JB, how's the illegal charity going? What's illegal? What charity all about? How's the illegal charity going? Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard too much about it. I have not kept up with it. Uh, I've kind of cut the cord to that. Yeah. Never mind that one. Yeah. That's not our business. Uh, Jeremy and Jane. Or JJ. Yeah, JJ's here. You hey. know you are an adult when you work all week and your day off your work harder. <laughs> Ken. Walang ano man from RR. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> What's LOL? RR, rock the house. She did awesome. Now, RR, you have to ask Tom for your pay for the day. All right. Well, search no told. No pay. Search said that for me to take her out and. 7 uh, Eleven. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ken, <laughs> Jay me saving you to the bus. I came to work first. Work harder at home. Philippine on demand, Storm and Root chat. And Ooh. I want to thank you. We picked up several subscribers from your channel over the past week. Past weeks. Yeah. Support suggestion is a yeah. good one time and Ruth. Yeah. It's 
can be for stretching all the time. It, uh, the key is, guys, if if uh, you support support me, I support you, and we all do the same. And I want to say to uh, Philippines on demand, he's a new channel. He just started out. Me and you guys, JG, all you guys on here just started out. Serge is here. What question, Madam? Oh, I think maybe Serge. Oh, Madam wants to question with Serge. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. I, I thought see. it's bye bye. Let's <laughs> get up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek Wallace. I hear about people that start YouTubing for fun. When they make it all business, they are start to hate it. It thinks it's better to just enjoy and make good content. You're right. You hit it, man. Spot on. High five. Double dog. High five. High five. Yeah. Boom. Timothy. Yeah, who said that? Derek? High five. He's spot on. Yeah, yeah because uh, it's a job. Yeah. Yeah. You got to treat it as a job uh, if you don't. But we just do it. Uh, we do it to do it. I'm retired. Timothy, why? Had to quit driving truck due to medical reasons. Too old to restrain for an entire level job. Well, you know what, Timothy? Uh, there... It's okay. I mean, you know, you, you can do with uh, anything you want. You can just, it's up to you. I mean, the sky's the limit here. You can enjoy a life here, a good life here. <laughs> Ken, 7-Eleven is near your bike store. Sorry. <laughs> Ken, Ken, I'll get you back, buddy. I'll get you back. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll get Josh on something. I'll get Josh. Watch. New here. Di Cueto. Di Cueto. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Welcome to our channel this morning. Tom Patrick. Tom. Don't forget Valentine's Day is coming real soon up in here in Maine. It's the dog house get Mighty cold. You're exactly right. Let me ask you, Chicha. What did I get you for Valentine's Day? Early Valentine's Day gift. Ah, flower. My orchid. So, how many flowers did you get, darling? Eight. Mm. Eight different colors. And, and were you happy? Yes, of course. Did you enjoy it? Yep. And just because the sun. Was that the book there? Just on there, just. Oh, you guys are talking, okay. You know, uh, um,. JB, you made a video about the old man. Who's the old man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. That's exactly how I got to 1,000 overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they came on. But the, the but the problem is it brought all uh, many, many trolls, too. And it just brought on a lot of nightmare. And But I answered every war. I'm uh, blocked about 100 and then went on. You guys that have a YouTube channel, you're going to find that you'll get a lot of people that jealousy from other YouTubers and vloggers that's actually going to bombard your channel with a lot of bad remarks and you just block them and go on. Don't worry about it. Never this business, never put emotions into this. If you put emotions into this uh, doing these videos and things, you're going to find yourself failing fast. Never take anything too serious. Have fun with it. If you're not, if you stop having fun, stop doing it. Just don't mm -hmm. do it no more. Right, Chit Chat? Mm -hmm. When we said that, I did teach you. You look beautiful today. Oi. Aye. Thank you. I'm just done shower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did you just finish shower? Yeah. Actually, you smell really good too. Must be that new shampoo. <laughs> yeah. I uh, said, giddy up. I really want to see your ideas. What yeah. is this? What's this? Just because the sun like our comments, they hate us. <laughs> they, they you know what? Uh, GB. You're right. GB, didn't I pick you up from that bunch at that time? And you used to subscribe to my channel. You were on, you were, I, I remember. But you know what? You're exactly right. And we don't even, we, we don't worry about that old guy. Because, you know, whatever. I worry about me and my girls and my family and my friends. And many of these friends here. Do you know what? I have picked up some really good friends here. I have really picked up some really good friends here. And I consider my friends. The reason why is we tell each other our, our stories. I mean, I know a lot of things about a lot of you guys. It's just good, 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 good stories, good heart. I say, get it up. I really want to see your ideas. Then 
Oh. Do you have a heater for the shower? No. no not not yet. It's cold. <coughs> not yet. <laughs> it's... I've been lazy. Yeah, don't forget thumbs up, guys. Tom Patrick said <coughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Tom Patrick. Up, he up, is up, our up. he's our thumbs yeah. guy. Tom Patrick, thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate you taking the time to do that because it's hard for us to keep up with it. Uh, I'm gonna. I have not done it because uh, we have many years. projects that we're doing. I'm going now. I'm going to CDO on Tuesday to pick up my new aircon. The vet and Pinay light. Plenty of jealousy in the family uh, already. Now more in our YouTube journey. Any suggestion? Ah, uh, just for just leave just. Ignore them. Yeah, that's a new new person. Come on our channel. Yeah, yeah. The vet uh, and Pranay well, Life. Thank you. Thank you for coming on uh, our channel. They have a channel, so you guys take a look at their channel if you don't mind. Subscribe to their channel and do not unsubscribe to anybody's channel. Always subscribe and don't unsubscribe because who cares? Then just ignore the yeah. jealousy. If you have people that are jealous, which I do, I have many, I have many, I have many. Just ignore many. them. Ignore them. Never worry about anybody else. Only worry about yourself. Don't worry about what anybody across town is doing. Only worry about yourself and what you're doing. Because if you're worrying about them, you can't take care of yourself. If you take care of yourself, all of them eventually go bye-bye and whatever. Some will be here one year, some will be here a hundred years, and some will do many, many great things. But you'll be okay, because you'll be happy. Mm. Server. Um, may I make a suggestion? Your name Russ, you're name. right. You're exactly right. Guys, what a great idea, Russ. Thank you. Yeah, please, any of you guys that have a channel, if you want to post a video, just put a link to your video or put a link to your channel. Of course, all they have to do is click on your picture, and they can pull it right to the channel. Don't, everybody, don't forget Tom uh, and Ruth and Ruth and Tom. Ruth and Tom's Philippine Adventures. She has a channel. Don't forget her channel. She's I do whistle there more. Don't yes, you whistle there more. <laughs> <laughs> I do a little whistle, honey. I want to hear some. Like what? Anything. There you go. A little more than that. Uh, I'm China. Yeah, I'll cover your eyes. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> it. yeah. it's here. Nelson Luke is new here. Oh, that's Jeremy and Jane. How much one of those heater costs? Hub here, there, in uh, Handyman? 6000 is the lowest price. Yeah, you can price. actually buy a heater for about 6000 peso. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do, we're actually going to take a small tank, a stainless steel tank, and put it on the roof here of the house. And then let the sun heat it up. And then, because uh, you don't need anything other than, you know, 10, 10 to 20 gallon. Let the sun heat it up because it gets hot here. I got solar panels get so hot up there you can't even touch them. You can't even touch. It gets so hot here. I think the Quito and Pedro is Opa. Oh, okay. Quito and Pedro loves you. Well, thank you. Thank you, you guys couple. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming on our channel. Pedro's came here for how many minutes? Right? Yeah, Pedro's been here. Yeah. And, and you know what, guys? Always uh, take a look. You guys got channels. Put them in parentheses, as Russ said, and, you know, that we know, because not everybody has the channel. It's okay. I'm here. I retired sailor in the Philippines. Ah, oh, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome yeah. to our early chat this here, morning. Here. Thank you. Here. Um, Nelson, anyway, it's too hot in Philippines for a hot water shower. No, you can mix the yeah, yeah. hot and cold, and it will be real warm. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy and Jen, that is one of the hardest things for me to adjust to cold shower when you have been there in vacation in the past. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we missed uh, Double Dog's question. What was it, Dog? Uh, how many times do you guys head into town a week? Uh, how many days in a week? Uh, we head to town. Uh, Sometimes we go two times. Three times like that, but every Sunday we're supposedly yeah we, we before go before we had before we had live we always go for Seven Eleven. It depends on the weather. If it's yeah. not raining, yeah, then if it's not, uh, you know, three four times Lazy. probably three four times a week. Yeah. 
sometimes two times, but really three or four times a week we head to town and then get groceries and things like that. Like this week, we'll be heading to town on Tuesday, uh, today, uh, Tuesday, probably Thursday. Of course, a lot of times we do these live shows now up till noon, so by uh, the time I'm done, I'm tired because of talk, talk, talk. Or I ask everybody's questions, you know, about visas and all the other stuff. You can get into cars and buying land and buying a house and all that stuff, you know. It can get kind of wearing you out because the other day I, I realized I answered over 100 questions uh, really fast. And uh, I don't know how many during the whole four hours that we do our videos. Yeah, somebody got to keep up awesome subscribers on the right path. So thumbs up, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The bit tonight, yeah. The bit on tonight live, I can, I can do cold shower anyway. Thanks for shout out. And anyway, D Quito has channel too. So if you didn't yet been in yeah, the if channel, I <coughs> you can do. Yeah. And if I miss any of your questions, feel free to just repost. We apologize for that. It's really hard to make sure I answer everybody. And I don't want to leave everybody out, leave anybody out, you know? Uh, um, they're talking. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so hard. I don't like taking cold showers either. Uh, uh, does Ruth know something about calling the wind? Yeah, I know how to call the wind. When, remember when you are so hot? <laughs> call the wind, darling. Hey, call the wind. <whistles> then the wind will come. Yeah. It works. Did you know the? It's. I did not it's know that. Nature's right. They know. Yeah. They really know. I know they know, honey. Yeah. Every time she whistles, I get cold breeze. <whistles> there you go. There you go. <laughs> and Tincha, does it work? Yeah, of course. But, but not here because the wind is outside. It's <laughs> hearing me. Nelson. Not here. <laughs> outside, guys. The wind will blow outside, but not in the house. No. <laughs> uh, retired seller in the Philippines. Thank you. We will be Hi. having another Wednesday. Congratulations, oh. my friend. Congratulations. Good for you. Good for you. I know you're looking forward to coming. I know you are. And well, you know what? Good for you. Here. Did we miss someone? I don't know. I don't want to miss it. This my client say. Yeah, that one. Okay. Then, uh, I, I think. More to walk. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, they're talking. Then, John Showmate, good morning. What is the name of Ruth's channel? My channels is Ruth and Tom Philippine Adventure. I will put it down. She's going to put it down on there. And so you guys feel free to put your channels down on there too. Philippines On Demand, you guys still on there. Uh, JG, you still on here. Uh, MJ, put your channel down on yeah. here. And you guys have channels. Put your channels on there. <laughs> it's a joke. It's just one video with my love, Pedro. Uh, uh, no go. worries. No worries. Just upload no worries. some of your memories. No worries. We, you know what? You know, we do it to help out other channels. Yeah. Uh, I'm the... I'm, I, as so much, I, I, I guess never really thought about it. I guess I, I'm probably one of the only guys that, that don't mind helping out the other guys. Because you know what? I know how hard it is. Uh, I remember when I first started. My channel's been on since 2012. Um, I really didn't start it till last year. Have here, Madam. Tom, have you ever heard a channel called Philippines on the band? They gave me great comments in YouTube. I yeah, sure did. On is He's on here now. Here. He's on here now. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a new gentleman. He does a great yeah. job. Uh, he... Uh, he, we talked a couple times, and we did a shout out to each other, and I shout out to him, and yeah, he's got a great channel. He is uh, a good guy. Uh, so you guys, uh, Philippines on Demand is one of many, many, many great channels that's on here. Emily and Son, and Men and yeah. Jury. Yeah, Emily and Son have channel too. Uh, Ken. Yeah, Ken is there, and Timothy White, oh, JJ. Yes, yeah. channel two, and MJ, MJ, and Mindanao Kiwi up there. So that's up there. Here. Oh, I'm sorry, God. Apologize. Um, Vietnam. Hi, Tom and Ruth. This is Jerry. I'm in. I'm wife of Michael from okay. the vet and Pinay. Yeah. We're looking forward to meet you guys. Ruth, so na magkakilala ang family natin sa Pasko. Oh, see you on. Uh, we were planning for outing with all our 
Vlogging yeah, what we're going to do, guys... We're planning that we have get-together then, right? Yeah, we're still planning on having to get-together next year, guys. Uh, what we're going to do, all our subscribers and vloggers, they want to meet sometime next year in February, March, April. We're going to have an outing. They will all meet one central place, and uh, we enjoy each other for two or three days. Uh, the places that have been mentioned is to be Borakai, um, uh, Sir... Sir uh, Chargal. Chargal. Or either... Uh, and Boracay, Bacolod, or Palawan. Yeah, so we're looking at these places. Uh, we'll book the we'll book the resort and have the 100, 200, or 300, or whatever how many is going to show up. Uh, come there. Last count that I had is well over a hundred of my subscribers <coughs> and vloggers are going to meet, and they may want to invite theirs. So it's okay. <coughs> I'm not here to. We're just doing it to have fun. Emilian said, well, Ruth, awesome, you can do that. I can't. <laughs> yeah, when I was in elementary, I'm, I love to call the wind because it's too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> next year, uh, February, March, April, somewhere right in there, probably March, April, May, March, April, we will do that. Stan, Mac, Daniel, Lom, LOL, my channel is just Stan, Mac, Daniel. Yeah. See, our Men and Our Journey just joined a lot of the channels here also. So, yeah. guys... Take advantage, Ken. Uh, there's many guys on here that have channels. Just subscribe to them, support them, help them. They'll support you back. And I tell you what, you're going to find that my subscribers, that the ones that I've developed through all this time, are the most devoted. And what I mean by that, they will give you comments. But if they give you a comment, you comment back to their channel. It's it's fair game. If you don't comment back, why? Comment if they comment on yours, you comment back. Go to their videos too, because you'll find that it that is the best way for you to build your business. This is building a business. You got to treat it as that. Uh, what's JG want to know? I I would I. Oh, Stan. Oh, so I'm so. I I have a bad habit, so I, yeah. she's the moderator. So. Uh, do do do. A retired seller in the Philippines. Do they grow a lot of pineapples where there you are? Uh, there at, before in Malibalay, yeah, over at Valencia, or either here in Don Carlos, they grow a lot man, of pineapples. You can go, man, you can buy dope. many. Many. Yeah, 20 a kilo, 30, 40 a kilo, yeah, depending on time kilo, of the year. Yeah. Uh, you go out and get them. Many. Beautiful. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Michael Laprosi, good morning. Good morning, good Michael Laprosi. How are you doing this morning? Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, here, Jeremy Dumagete wouldn't be a bad idea. So. That's an awesome idea, Tom. Trades meet a great double hook. I'm in yeah. the corner. Just have to the best, uh, just, uh, just a gathering for everybody. Uh, not only that, you get to meet everybody. Get to meet everybody in person. A lot of subscribers want to come. Uh, like I said, we have well over a hundred now that has actually submitted information that they want to join in. So you bring your husband, wife, and kids, you're just responsible yeah. for them. That's all. We'll fly in there and then whatever, you know. And just have a good time. Do whatever. Yeah. Jeremy and Jane, I'll be there for sure. Wife and boys probably won't. That's fine. Sure. That's fine. Yeah. It, it depends on... It depends on your situation. It may change. And not my schedule is not going to agree with everybody, but I, I will do my best to make everybody as happy as possible. And we'll book the, the resort. And you know as well, so can you imagine somebody saying, oh, I, I need rooms for at least 100, 200, 300 people? Well, we're at 100 now, so you know it's going to be two, 300 times it's going on. It may be 1,000 for all I know. I don't know by then. You never know, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Our Mindoro journey. I'm former military and I work in law enforcement. Married to a beautiful Pinay since 2014, and our channel is Our Mindoro's journey. There you go. There Search you go. Plus one. You, you, go to them, and then you comment on their videos. No yeah. matter how many they put up. And you guys comment back on their videos. Yeah, anyway, <coughs> help you each can other out. Get notification. You will, will get, get notification once you subscribe. If who's subscribed your channel. And if they don't, don't worry about them. And if they don't for a period of time, whatever. You just go on. Uh, I have many subscribers that I put <laughs> a video up within within 30 minutes. I got uh, 
100 comments sometimes. There's a, there's a little code, Peter V, and Obama doesn't show up for Trudy's event. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Peter Vandiver, and uh, yeah. It's a joke? Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, he won't. Jay Mellon remembers school does get out until April, at least in the Philippines for a month. Uh, here in Philippines, since they start June, so they will end on March. But some private school they start in August, so they will end on April or May, like that. So we might kind of adjust it to April. So depending on your children, like that. So, you know. You don't have to worry. You're gonna have plenty of playmates, honey. Armin, well, thanks for joining us, uh, Gemma. I know my friend is an elementary school teacher in the province. She does not get out of school until twelve to April, I believe. Yeah, because they have yeah. to do their reports. <coughs> so okay. maybe we'll look at April, uh, May. Some suggest yeah, some like February. May. Some say May. We we'll just December. say May. December. Yeah, December yeah. might be fine too. We could do December. If, but a lot of people travel with their families December, though. Dog, I know for dog. me. I might kill a Could you make daddy some Grandma coffee? Grandma Berenice, off on um, a mat. Please, thank you. Madam, Tom and Red, how popular are the cat videos? Um, I don't know, we're not sure. You need to, in your channel, <laughs> you, you... It's in your own, uh, how to say, effort. So, think what you can do and make good content so that it will be, uh, how to say, catch the eye of the viewers. Cream. So, yeah, like that. <clears throat> yeah, you could do anything. Just, just whatever you do, just specialize in it. Uh, I tell you what. You'd be surprised. You can specialize in one thing and change it down the road. It just ends up being something else that you don't really know that you really enjoy doing, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have to be about the Philippines. Yeah. Michael approached a question for Rod. I've been asked for the godfather of my girlfriend's son, baby, in Laporta. What will be the family expect from me? Uh, it, uh, Filipino culture, they are always like when they had newborn baby, then they will have for Christianing, like even Catholic, they are doing Christianing. For us, uh, even the Adventists, you just uh, how to say, you just dedicate the children, but still have good father like that, but not really same as the. Will they expect money for him on a regular basis, or is it just something just that he'd just be Godfather? <clears throat> And that's it. Just help raise the child. Uh, no, you cannot. Okay. Uh, you are not uh, responsible, responsible that way. for raise the child, but just, some here, when it's birthday, you need to give yeah. a gift. Uh, December, you need to give <coughs> like that. Sort of like a tag. Just, just uh, what's that? Simple, but not really. Uh, it depends on your heart. Not, not forcing someone to be a good father and to be uh, responsible for everything that. Yeah. Need, yeah, like yeah. 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 So, so it's it's not is is what it seems to be. So mm -hmm. if you're going to be godfather to a child, it's not as bad as it seems. It is uh, it's a very good thing, and it's actually an honor. Yeah, honor. That's actually yeah, an honor. It depends on you if you will give give simple gifts. Yeah. They don't I, mind like I would that. take it as an honor. If somebody wanted me to yeah. be godfather. Godfather. Yeah. But I I think I am. Uh, they all come to daddy all the time <laughs> for hugs. Yeah. Well, I call me at my friend's door in America all the time. I've been told, don't say this in the Philippines. Why? What does that mean? Dorks? What's dorks, buddy? Tell the dog. You make me laugh. <laughs> you? Dog? Yeah, dork. Dork is a word that, uh, uh goofy. Ah. Uh, i tell you the reason why. They don't like this. They don't like craziness here. To explain to them what they do to a crazy person here or someone's kind of like off. Explain to them what they do. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, they will they take care of them. Yeah, they will understand, but if if they will see that you're really crazy, crazy, then they think that 
uh, you will make some like how to say you're a bit dangerous they will tie you in the trick <laughs> like doll doll they call that doll doll that trick that kind of tree some of the uh, what's that what you say that one I did branches yeah no 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 that in Leaves? mango is fruit but that tree is have have like kind of yeah the, okay they whatever <laughs> Anyway, yeah, they will tie you in. They tie you to this particular until tree until you will become straight. Like, until you become straight. If you never become straight, I guess you still stay no, tied to the tree. The old, oh, the the electric is off, but no worries. We're on solar. They said that Doldo is <laughs> can help for crazy people. It's a natural healing for crazy. There you go. It's a tree. <laughs> Emily and San, I think she know what is dull dull. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep now. Happy morning, afternoon, night, everyone. Ah, okay, oh, Serge, Serge, thank you, thank you, thank Serge, you. thank you for coming on. Thank you, Serge, for coming on today. Uh, hey, my door comment. That's exactly what is. Uh, can you send message? Send night message. Brother. Or I got the cable to get bike. Uh, here, just send message. We're still on here. Yeah. Yeah. No, our internet that is. No, I still you went through. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, see you're still on. Uh the most important thing is the house is on solar, really. Okay. Try. Mr. B, I'm uh, on solar. Here, yeah. yeah. We're back. I'm guys. still on I'm on solar guys. All this is running we from solar. Are back our now, internet and everything's on solar, so or just uh we could turn in, turn on a light. Hey, R, uh, take this one right here. Go plug in right here in this outlet here. Okay. Uh, and just take it off the chair. Our Mindanao journey got to go, guys. I brought take care and my asawa say, Ingat. Yeah. Take care also. Take care, take care. Yeah, we're I back are. on. R, just um, R. Don't, come here. Oh, not. Just plug in right here, honey. Okay, where are we? Yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay. We're back online. I wish I could be yeah, there yourself. next year for a meet up with you guys. I will be probably 2020 before we got to go back. 2020. 2020. Just saying it right there. Yeah. Now, son, you, you smell there's well, more than one face. person. Hang Michael, don't worry. Nobody will accept anything from you except I'm sure your donation should be the biggest if you're the only foreigner. Solar here, I came to save the day. <laughs> Solar's on. Uh, what we did was just plug in and light the solar system. All the internet's everything on solar, guys. Sorry. I don't know what happened. A normal internet, you know. I think it did. Yeah, it's just reboot. We are just back. Yeah, we're back. I was on the whole time, still live, but it was... I think YouTube hated my dark comment. That's exactly what it was. It hated your dark comment. Yeah. Yeah, what we did, uh, we plugged in some lights, mm -hmm. got it on solar today. Yeah. Uh, oh. Here's to an expansion solar coming up. Coming hey, soon. yeah, coming soon. A minute now journey, you're going to Medoro. Mr. B, I said B that bad all the time. One. Bahala na. Bahala na. No. Mindoro journey, I said it wrong again, sorry. Apologize. Mindoro journey, yeah. we will go now. You go now, huh? Uh, Tom Patrick, it's normal for Filipinos to only remember you when your birthday or Christmas or need something for you, but the rest of your year, nothing, no communication. Sometimes, yeah, you're right. Uh, you're you're exactly right. They're bad about that. It's yeah. not. What can I say? It was like the same thing with. Uh, remember. Yeah, it's the same thing with us. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, same thing in U.S. Not always uh, perfect there for sure. You know. And I was never perfect to my mom and dad. I always remember their birthdays. Did I get there? Not really. I, you know, was survival and work. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> your mommy, uh, your mommy gave you, she's going to give you the eye in a minute. Show her the eye, honey. Yes. Uh, Russ. Russ, Russ Savage. No! You got tired. Yeah! <laughs> they tied me the tree. I got untied. <laughs> I came back in real quick. Said, Mama, don't tie me no more. Please don't tie me the tree no more. <laughs> Yeah. 
No, it didn't. It's <coughs> USA. Yeah, it's the same as USA. I mean, come on. Uh, we're, all the, we're all human beings. People always try to say, y did you guys see the, the thing, what I did with the... Uh, with the uh, three budgets. Oh, man. I opened up a door on that one. Oi. Okay. But it's okay. You need 2000 3000 to live on. It's your money. Sure. I'm just saying that some, some people live on less. I'm going to do, I am going to go this week. I'm going to do an interview with the 88-year-old. And we're going to find out exactly what he lives on and how, how much it costs him to live. And we're going to hear a couple stories from him. And yeah. if you guys want to know anything, just ask. And you want to know anything, some of the places that he's ever been. <laughs> Mr. Um, B. It, Christmas is crazy here. Everybody wants money from you. I just told them Jesus was born in April. Or Christmas was moved to December to replace the Roman festivals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know for us that, uh, for us, Christmas goes around. I just want to help the kids. I, and food. When it comes to if kids hungry and food and the family, don't you, honey? Yeah. You know. Just just give what they need. Don't yeah. Give what they want. Yeah. Don't give what they want. Give what they need. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Slipper. Three something like budget that. freak out on the big plug. I love everybody. Second a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they they. I mean, wow. I got I got people I never seen before in my life. Never did. I never seen them. I don't know. Man, they, some guys got mad, man. I had to delete some comments. It was, it was like, whoa. Okay. But come to find out, one guy says, oh, man, you got to live 1500 Well, he's got two mates. He's got two mates. He's living on 1500 I said, well, what's the mates costing you? He said, the mates are costing me $400 a month. Okay. So you're living on 1100 Well, yeah. I said, okay. It's okay. Good. To me to why? Getting close to Hawaii trip for the grandchildren first birthday. Twins. twins. That's oh, nice because that's it's very first nice. birthday and it's twins. Oh, they're gonna love that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh JJ. Sometimes I hear big vloggers saying something about the PI and negative manners and it's probably the same everywhere. Yeah. 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 Sometimes so, you're 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 right. I, I love the Philippines. I love I love it. Is it perfect? No. Is it perfect anywhere? No. But it's perfect for me. <laughs> yeah. I have pork pie. Are you still using yeah. Exome? Yeah. Yeah. Exome. Yeah. And I'm using it on the yeah. uh, thing. And that one is Exome. I don't know if the gentleman's still on. He's probably not that asked me what I use. I couldn't find your phone for my videos. And this is it. This is what I use my phone. I paid $400 for it yeah. two years ago. Then it's thin like that. It's very thin. 64 gigabyte. Yeah. Uh, Nelson, so. when I'm in the Philippines, they, they, the street people ask me and say, Christmas po? I just say, wala. Christmas, I'm English. <laughs> they said, somebody say, Is Christmas, Christmas, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then she said, no Christmas. I'm not really because I'm English, like English. They oh. Are not so oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In English, you don't. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, Tom Patrick, I learned a couple words. Wala, pira, and Hindi. Look. <laughs> he knows only word couple. Wala. Like you. Wala. 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 Like yeah. him. Somebody big money. Yeah, wala. Wala, wala, wala. Then sometimes if you not go. Yeah. Like that. Kiss, and they do kiss. this. Yeah. Pull your shirt. Yeah. I had Wally doing this and then I put her baby in front and I went. Yeah. Boy, she was running. <laughs> Ken of Kindness, video name star of Bethlehem was eye opening. So the Amazon about Christmas. Yeah, 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 Ken. Yeah, you're exactly right. There, you know, there's a lot of. Uh, they start celebrating here, as you guys know this, in June and July. Christmas starts. Pedro, just upload the Quito and Pedro's elder story, just something. Oh, okay, Pedro. Pedro okay, are. there you go. Yeah. There you go, you guys. Watch that later. You guys yeah. uh, give a watch that that uh, that video if you don't mind. Timothy, yeah. why nowhere is to going to be perfect? Yeah, nowhere is gonna be perfect. I just, yeah, it's like. <coughs> Bubble dog, what is your thought on Guam? Many Filipinos there. Guam is. Open country, right? Yeah, it's open country. That's USA. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Uh, many Filipino there. Um, and you know what? Oh. I, Nelson Lucas is Iglesia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're not celebrating Christmas. Oh, all right. That's true. Yeah, they, they don't, don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah. Tom Patrick Metro. Yeah. Driver. Metro. Metro. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Triple D. There are a lot of Filipinos in Guam. Yeah, there are many there. If the girl sit in a lower, there will be out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will stand. She's standing up now, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jay Chat. Yeah, yeah now she in the picture now. Yeah. Uh, I have come up with idea for YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Good for you. <laughs> Madam, good for you. Yeah, great, great idea. It's the bigger are aggressive. I just give them a... What is that? Uh, a skull sound. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some bigger... They will just pull your shirt yeah, like this if they you're do. not. Similar, well, they feel that if you're, you're ignoring them. Right yeah. Here. Well, if and, and too, if you're a glacier or someone that doesn't celebrate uh, Christmas, if you tell them, do they still? I bet they still kind of go after you, right? A lot, a lot in glacier. Yeah. They still come after you, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they really will stand here. You guys remember I did a video out here where they were actually standing at the gate. It's not Christmas time. They were just looking for donation. Yeah. But I was the only house is, on the street. They're using their what's that? It's some church will go house to house for yeah. Even in the bus, uh, sometimes they just give you like envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. envelope just to but put it, money. But it's in up it. to you if you will give. It's not. They yeah, will not mandatory. Force you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Still going with some to call and yeah so. I mean, I'm not the Grinch who stole Christmas diaper either by found God in Puppin's first time. By accident, it will not be an accident. Yeah, well, you know, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, some some people, you can find God anywhere. Yeah. Um, and it's a good thing. Because everybody has their purpose, and you may realize that your purpose might be here, you know? Mm. It is Guam is sad. There is eat too much American food and all yeah. their bad health. I heard I heard a lot of people in bad health. Uh and guys, I see it happening here. I see a lot of McDonald's, KFC, pizza, everybody's starting to get really fat, fat, fat. Back when I first started to come here, people were thin. Am I right, honey? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed how fat they're getting? They're Americanized. Oh, Americanized. Eat food. Not a burger, not one once a week. French not fries, like yeah, burger, things like that. They eat too much American food. Yeah, it's really, it. Not really, what is this? Uh, Mr. B? Mr. B, it's bad sometimes near the hospital. People asking for help with this. Yeah, meals. yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't had that happen yet, but I, I do know of some people that really did need that. Not nah, Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, it's sad. Uh, and, of course, if I find that someone's in a situation like that, would I help you? Yeah, of course I would. I'm not going to say no. Someone in need. How do you read that one? It's Renaissance Man, 86. Yeah, Illegal give money to beggars in the Philippines. Yeah. <clears throat> well... Here, yeah, here in our town, they don't so force it. They don't force, yeah. There's a lot of laws, they, like they okay, can, okay, stores against the law. They don't the, force that. They will not catch uh, people give some little donation. You, can, you can do it right in front of us. Give that from their heart. Yeah, a lot of officers give. give. A lot like of that. lot of army give. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't force a lot of that. There's a lot of illegal laws: spitting on the ground, smoking in public, drinking in public. Jaywalking, do they enforce them? No, no. It's a matter. It's like USA, man. You go to USA. You talk about enforcing the laws. Do they enforce them there? Sure, they do, but not all. 
So your dog's not on a leash one time or five times or 100 times. You're in trouble? Probably, but you get a fine? If you get caught, yeah, maybe, maybe not, you know? But Renaissance man, you're exactly right. Is it illegal? Sure, it's illegal, all the many things here, but it's not enforced. Uh, it's no different as anywhere else. I heard that Taiwan and Vietnam's got some really strict laws too there. But um, I came, was Nielsen saying, honey? Mm hmm. Nielsen? Uh, right, just right there. What did you say? I came, I came to Papa and it's not doing the best thing. Yeah. I would Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's that's really good, Nelson. That's really good. You know what? That's a positive, positive thing. Um, American Eye is supersized. Yeah, American Eye is supersized. Everything that you get is supersized. <laughs> supersized. You want, would you like to supersize that? Sure, let's supersize it. Give me the big fry. I don't want the little one. Give me the big fry. And then all of a sudden you have big... The butt. Billy. Big belly. And big Le Boot. True. Mr. B. If it's it is a uh, if it is a hospital bill, you should go to the cashier and yeah. pay directly. Give yeah. no cash ever. Yeah, You're exactly right. I, yeah. some, I have experience here <coughs> yeah? that one lady when I bought buy bread and uh, what's that? Arby's uh -huh. big shop. Keep like this. And they said that I hear some Filipina at the back that she's still here. That that bill of the hospital bill is just last year. So she's always bring bring that hospital bill so that if you will not just give directly and never read the papers, you will be full that it's really neat. Because she bring the whole Bill. Page of the yeah bill. Then people say that's last year. Why do you just keep asking for that one? And I just turn around because that's what they said. It's two thousand with that <laughs> two thousand something. Yeah, yeah. And it's two thousand seventeen that time. And I said, oh, so it's fake. So why why should give? So m yeah. remember yeah. that sometimes you need yeah. to be careful that doing like that. Yeah, you, you pay the bill first. It's so, the same in the USA. I mean, how many guys see the guy standing on the side of the road with the sign, uh, we'll work for food, or my family here need food, and he goes over and gets in the car? Do you buy them food? You buy them food. You never give them money. Why people give money to people? I don't know. You buy them the food that they need. You want a job, come with me. I'll give you a job. And 99% of the time, they don't want a job. They don't want to even go to work. They, they make more money standing on the street corner. One guy sat there one time. On a street corner, come inside McDonald's. I'm having a cup of coffee and working on a computer for the internet. And a guy comes in. I'm, I just have to see through the little shade window. He had $65 there he made in that morning. No comments. One yeah, it's 120 uh, less 85 to go. There you go. Good for you. You're losing weight. Ken, keep losing weight. Yeah, even in double daddy, you're fine if you split hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Nelson, you I was the exact spot. I'm in the man enough, and I like both of you enough to admit it. Oh, what is that six spot? Oh, okay. There you six go. Spot? Nelson, mean, there you go. Okay. Well, I mean, you're in a better place now than you've ever been in your life. Yeah, and good for you. Well, we have a bigger uh, come yeah. to the house, and we give rice and other item like mommy noodles can mm -hmm. and extra if we are all on about a bar for a good there you go Derek. There you go. Yeah. yeah you know what it's in your heart whatever you want to do Tom the medium soda is like a two liter <laughs> French man if they you read the name if they put as much enforce, emphasis on enforcing the rules like they do for Christmas party planning, imagine where that would be. Well, you know what? Uh, it's true. But you know what, too? Same as U.S., man. No different. Renaissance, man, U.S. is exactly the same. We're all human, man. It's all the same. Apple, apple. Madame, 
I get away with. Uh, no. no. Avoid talking that one. You don't want to get in politics. You don't want to get in. Uh, don't yeah. get in talk in a uh, country. Will, YouTube will kick you off. Yeah, you can't talk about that. You can't do. <laughs> Uh, read the YouTube rules yeah. and, and regulations. Learn the YouTube rules first, then you'll just start your channel. So that yeah, stay away from any of that stuff. Don't don't get involved in any of that stuff. You don't want to anyway. And why why if you want to talk about that, you start your own blog, B L O G, and then start doing about that and create your own website. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Put advertising on the website so you can make money. So if they do clicks. The Vet and Finna Life. I serve oh. free tours on Guam, retired Aviation Navy. My health and fitness is top. I eat all types of food and it's a choices you make. I don't think Jolly Bee fits healthy, so I guess it's a person. The Vet, you're exactly yeah, right. Course. You're exactly because right. It's a choice. Even even McDonald's is all for this junk. Like, yeah. It's not yeah. good for the health. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes we eat there because. It, Hurry, like yeah. It's especially if you're traveling. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Hurry, hurry. Lazy. Yeah, lazy. And we eat there. You know, we eat there. I call it Joe Belie, but it's Jolly B. <laughs> Joe Belie, Jolly B. Right. Surely, so just eat till uh, satisfied, not full. Just enjoy the food. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you're right. Right. Guam. <laughs> Ken, Ken, you know what? You and I are alike. That's what I do. I get one big plate. I fill that bad boy up. It's all going. Guam has changed a lot since it was there. 86, 89. Oh, yeah, I bet it has changed. In Manila, lots of buffets in Manila. Coast 10 on the luxury buffet start at 20 USD. Did you remember, Emily, that the eat all you can? <laughs> Eat all you can, but if you cannot finish your food in the plate, you need to pay for 1000 per plate. We have been seeing all last time, right? Yeah. The rules of the eat all you can there is, you pay how much? I paid one five for all of us. Five? We are five, right? Yeah, five. I paid one, one, five. Five, one four. One four. Like that. Yeah. Oh, you can eat. Yeah. You avoid leave over because you will pay more than the pay. For five of us, yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Mm, also, if you're white, it's hard getting a job in Guam. I, I've heard because most of the Filipinos have a holding on to them, unless you're in the military, of course. What is this? Uh, Hi. yeah, Tom, how's the big, Tom, how's the big government clean up the place? Man, it's phone? good. Yeah. It, it is done. They have cleaned that up. It is yeah. done. In Manila Bay. Yeah, it is done. It's yeah, doing good. I hope it will not be dirty again because lots of people living on that side is there throwing yeah. kinds of garbage. Yeah, yeah. As you know, you can clean it up all you want, but you still have to train the people. Please yeah. don't throw your trash on the ground. It's and, uh, um, please don't. to educate them. Yeah, yeah. And they no. did clean it up. It's a lot better than it was. It's it's 100% better than it was. It's really nice. Really nice. Yeah, how to clean. Yeah, like sanitation. That even. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Trying to get one more assignment there for my last three in in the federal service. I school but a lot of the assignments would be top plus it's a lot to closer to apply than California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Sir Liner, are you all eat and it's ringing the dinner bell? American. All, all you can eat is ringing the dinner bell for all Americans. <laughs> You're exactly right. Many Americans, that's all you can eat. That's what they really go for is all you can eat. I know for me, I uh, I like all you can eat, but it's not something I really strive to find. I, uh, I'm i simple. Uh, give me a good burger 
and maybe a fry or a hash brown potato, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I'm simple that way. What are you uh, Mr. B? Mm. Uh, I eat less than half amount of food here than in the States. Most food is no. Yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. You get satisfied quicker here pretty quick. I, I know for me, I do. And I'm the same. I, I don't eat as much. Uh, these two eat more than I eat. And I'm probably 123, 124 kilo. Must most especially if fries with um they eat a lot more food than I eat. Rice yeah. and yeah. dry fish. Yeah. Yeah. Deep, deep, deep to the vinegar. Yeah. Many dip many dips of the vinegar. My cheche will dip, 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 dip in that vinegar. So will our, our. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Tim to White. Hope they clean up Pasay River. Yeah. Pasay River is still dirty. I don't know, honey. They did a lot of clean up there. I, last time I saw the news, it was all clean, but it doesn't mean all of it. A lot of it was clean, you know. Okay. Where do cows go for fun? <laughs> Ken? Ken? A retired sailor in the Philippines. The cosmetic cleanup looks great. Yeah. But a long yeah. way yeah. to go help twice. Yeah. yeah. A long ways to go. And you, you guys know as well as I do, it is a. It is a work in progress all the time. It really is a work in progress all the time. Uh, and, I, you know, I, what can you say? I see kids throwing paper on the ground all the time. Yeah. It drives me insane. The Vith and Finna Life. Tom, do you love Filipino foods? I love it and my wife cooks it's good. Perhaps I eat too much. Yeah, eat it. Hear that? Eat it. Um, I eat. No, I, I I love Filipino food. I do. I uh, I love uh, adobo. I love uh, I love many vegetables. foods. Vegetables. I love vegetables. Yeah, especially their vegetables here. I love their spinach. Uh, their their variety of spinach is really good for me, and I really do enjoy their food here. Uh, Loomis, good morning. You're so welcome. I love the channel mm -hmm. and everything about it. You're so welcome, Loomis twelve ten. Thank you for coming on this morning. Yeah, we talk about anything and everything. Ask any questions you want. If I can't answer. it, some of my great subscribers can for sure. Yeah, can bop it. Am turkey. Well, some storky manok. Baboy means pork. Yeah. I rib I for me ribs mostly protein for my diabetic works <laughs> to lose weight. <laughs> can. Um, can can you're bigger than me? I think. How how much how what's your kilo? Or weight? Give me your weight. I don't care. I was just wondering. You're a big guy. Yeah. Derek Collins, I used to take my kids to the doctor once a month because of something. We changed our diet, brown rice with bread, no pork, etc. The doctor commented one day that she haven't seen a year. Can you beat that? Yeah, because too much too much meat in your body because it's difficult to digest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 275. Oh, you were near 400. Oh, Ken, you lost a lot of weight. Wow. So I'm 240. Yeah, so it's good for hmm. lifestyle. Huh? Yeah. You can see lifestyle. It's diet. about diet, yep. Yeah, brown rice with bread, like that. Yeah. yeah. And bit simple. Yeah. It suggested for that one is you need to eat a uh, little meat. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the square of much, much mm -hmm. like that, right? because... Mm -hmm. Meat will be digested for two to three days in your stomach. You mean a little piece of meat signs of a match? Like oh, forget that, JJ. <laughs> piece not, of meat this big, darling. Not, not like this. I, not like your... your uh, this big, not mama. Your, I have this pleasure of going to the U.S. of A for business. And I was taken to this all-you-can-eat concept. The food is not fit to human consumption, hence to profit margin. Yeah, it's kind of tough to eat a lot of the foods. You're right. A lot of stuff just basically comes in and they steam it or boil it. Uh, a few fried foods in those buffets in the U.S. I find the buffets, believe it or not, a little better here for me. Uh, if you were if you were going to say apple to apple. I like them here because, I like I went the other night, I got a lot of vegetables and stuff like that. And I did get chicken. And I got vegetables, and it was actually pretty good. I didn't have any ice cream. They didn't have any of that stuff, but it was good. Nelson, does Chichi make chicken adobo? Yeah. It's my favorite. Sam's favorites too. My favorite. <coughs> my, that's my not, favorite. You did not try 
goat, right? No, we had goat. Remember Jonathan? Oh, yeah, but not Christmas. The... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Called the right. Mm hmm. And the rice and iced tea seems to be the business model there. Yeah, ice and, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, rice and iced tea, yeah. Thank you for being on, explaining a lot of things. I love your channel and ex everything about it. Thanks again. Loomis. You're so Loomis welcome. Fan. You're so welcome. Thank everybody for, thank you for saying that, Loomis. Uh, You're Charles. Ah, uh, hello, Charles. Hello. Uh, Hookstad. How you doing today, Charles? Frozen Charles is going to be here coming soon. Some. Yeah, yeah. Frozen, frozen, yeah. Well, thank you, Charles. <laughs> Kane said, snare drum, bus drum, and belly drums. <laughs> Who said that? Ken, Ken, belly drum. Snare drum, ba yeah, belly drum, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you heard me bounce it, didn't you, Ken? Uh, Mr. People, if I get sick, out of the drop of a hot fever all the time. Don't understand, but the hospital loves it. Yeah, because the hospital will get rich. Good <laughs> I have adobo addiction. Yeah, I'd, I'd love adobo, man. I tell you what. Uh, I'm 206. 5'8. Okay. Five eight. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I need drop weight. I do need drop weight. I drop, not eating any more rice. I can tell you that. I'm not the. I... You said, Daddy, one apple a day gives you doctors away. They do say that. Yeah. Who said that? Uh, I don't know. We just know one, that. One apple a day give doctors away. Doctors. So you eat more apple. Okay. Well, I, we probably Sometimes should get some. Sometimes we eat uh, breakfast, just apple. Okay, Sometimes right? we do, yeah. We just no, have apple. Just apple. Yeah. Or banana. Or like bananas, that, yeah. Then. Or yes. apple and banana together, cut up. Yeah. Ethan Leach, can I have a shout out, please? All right, Ethan Leach. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? <clears throat> Welcome to our little channel today. We are talking about anything and everything you want to talk about. Uh, good morning, Chi Ta uh, Taurus. Chi. Tess, good morning. Tess is on. Chi's on. Uh, yeah. Chi, uh, Serge is saying hi to you or looking for you this morning. Yeah. Um, uh, there was here in Davao, they had severe cases of falling worms out of people's brain from pork. Yeah, I saw that some yeah. video on YouTube that yeah. one American lady, pork. one American lady, she loved eat pork. Every time she cooked pork, then one day she had a severe headache like that. Yeah. Then she collapsed. Then husband rushed her in the hospital and... Doctor found that her part of her brain, the the what's worm is that flat worm? Yeah, flat, a tapeworm. Yeah, a tapeworm have nest over on her head. That's why it's, uh, what's that? Uh, Protruding. She, uh, she experienced a uh, headache all the time, and sometimes she collapsed. Yeah, that's from then after the surgery, they stopped eating pork. Yeah, I don't eat pork. I I I'm not I'm not. Uh, I, I I ate it in USA, yes, but I wasn't a regular pork eater yeah. anyway. You know, she one time a month, maybe. She had testimony on YouTube, yeah. That yeah. One. So I we we just don't eat pork. We eat chicken and beef, and beef when we can get it. So mainly our diet is chicken, or it's vegetables. We eat a lot of beans. We can get the you know like the white bean. Uh, there's a lot of white beans here. You can get and get some red beans, things like that. We can get yeah, that. Yeah, good. And when it looks and, in and black bean too. Intermittent fasting too, it can lose weight. Then. You know what? Our, my buddy uh, from uh, Dumagati Expat does that. So he's telling me that you can actually lose weight by intermittent fasting. Like you go, you eat, right? And then you eat for 12 hours, something like that. But you do it. Uh, hey, good morning, Brian. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Jim, you're two meters tall? Anyway, uh, it's amazing how uh, pork, I did not realize that, but I'm, that's not the first time we heard it. <clears throat> I got it right back. Kambing goat. Uh, yeah, goat's man, good. We go. I addicted to chicken adobo. <laughs> I mean, anytime it's in Jiu go look for it. Yeah. Yeah, I like chicken adobo. Kambing. Kambing is goat, yeah. Jim Aller, Hollow's ice cream. I know it's not. 
Right. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can, can what does she say? Black Bear Casino State Crew Casino K okay, Corral. Wife well, makes great peanut fed. Look, look, look. Okay, yeah. Corral. You stay with Okay Corral. Corral. Yeah, it's a. Uh, is it like Golden Corral? Yeah, Okay Corral. Three times. Corral, Corral, Corral. Oh, what's that? It's a, it's a restaurant. Uh, yeah. Just say Apple Farmers say that. <laughs> JG, you're exactly right. It's all apple farmers. I guess the grape farmer would say, drink more wine, you feel better, right? And you live longer. Yeah. What's this? Okay, ask me anything you want, madame. No worries. Just ask it, put it in the comments, and I'll answer. What about the politics part? I answered it with the politics. No politics and read YouTube. Uh, guidelines uh, and that will help you a lot uh, madame so no worries there how long you have been in Philippines what's your status now investor tourist or marriage marriage I'm married I am married I'm on 13a and I live here and I've been here and I want to be here <laughs> and I don't want to go anywhere else. Renaissance man, my goal is to stay here, vacation USA. So yeah, I've been here. I don't know how long we've been here. Four years? Four years. In and out of here. Four years. Yeah, I lived here four years, been in and out of here more now. What's Ken said? What's Ken say? No radiation, yeah, pre cooked seafood. You're right. Yeah, right. Yes, golden. Yeah, golden crop. I bought a new Baja, and I will get to drive it Wednesday for the first time, but mine is cost. Awesome, awesome. You'll love that thing. You'll love it. You'll really enjoy it. You'll have a good time. I suggest, now, listen, I'm just going to give you some advice. When you drive it, drive it on a road where no one's on it to get the feel of it, this, that, and other. Because once you get out in traffic, Make sure you have eyes here, 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 all the way around your head. Why? Because the traffic, my friend in Dumaguete just got in an accident because he was making a U-turn yeah. on his motorcycle. Always careful. Careful, man. And uh, Philly in the Philippines selling his car. If, if you're Five drive, accidents. If you're driving slowly, your slow pace, yeah. you just be on the other side. Yeah, just make don't sure. Put on the yeah, don't put on yeah, the first lane. You're in the first lane, right? Yeah. Make sure you really, really look around. Just advice. Take your time. But don't take don't your time too much to get run over. Yep. But take your time enough that you can uh, make a decision. If you have to pull off the road to make a decision to get a uh, back. Yeah. That's what I do. Me I and, just pull off. Me and Tom. We pull off. Always stop. Then to, to go left. Like that. Then if I we wait five minutes, I don't care. And then we go left. Even we don't we make it. Side, side mirror. Even though we have side mirrors, I tell you the reason why. It's that ghost over here on this side that you don't see, and they'll do that. A friend of mine got nailed pretty bad. He's not riding his bike right now anyway. Mm, but just strike. The, the, I'm waiting to go the through the questions. Dog. Have you compared a Baja Strike to Gold Cart pros and cons? I haven't. I haven't. I, uh, the Baja Trike is a good trike. It's good to have. Uh, the pros and cons, the, uh, the, the con would be it's gas. Uh, the con would be uh, it's really bumpy, bumpy, bumpy ride. Uh, the golf cart's more, uh, a little better, a little wider tires, more puffy. But the, but the uh, thing for me, it's the same scenario. It's the same type of strike, trike, except one solar and the other one's gas. And I just really want to stay away from gas personally, even though, uh, it's really, it depends on where you get your gas. And how old the station's been there? Make sure you guys get it at a well-established place, uh, because I've had so many gas problems here, and I'm not the only one. I yeah, the Baja makes an electric one too. It's so expensive. I mean, it's like you could buy a car for what you pay for that. 
and I don't want a car. So I just get a little uh, electric. Uh, the Baja is expensive uh, as far as solar. Baja. Baja, yeah. How, how much more? You remember? It was like... Baja there? Uh-huh. It was it's from India. Uh, 175. 175 for gas. 200 cc. Yeah. And spot cash, you'll, I think you'll release the... You will save 5,000 pesos. Yeah. So spot cash, you get about 170. Yeah. The 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 thing uh, and the uh, electric version is a lot more expensive, and it's uh like I mean like a hundred thousand more. Um, Jim Miller, stay away from politics and religious. Yeah, DJ, I told Philly to take both. Yeah, you know what? I, I I told Philly last year. What are you doing with a car? He said the same thing. Uh, hey, R R. Uh, he said the same thing. He said, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, Charles, question. Has anyone seen a motor star motorcycle dealership? I'll turn the air on I time. want to buy the Q5400. Many motor star here. Motor <coughs> star motorcycle. The red one, remember? The red one have motor yeah, star on yeah, the side. Yeah. That one. There's many here. I'm gonna try and do a. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a shout out this week on prices if you want, Charles. Jack Jack Redmond. No way I'm driving anything when I move over there. As a professional driver, here's not to not to go. <laughs> For me, same. I I am exactly the same. I will not do any uh, driving other than my little motorcycle. <coughs> JG, you rode with him, huh? Moti, Baja makes an electric version also. Yeah, they have electric. Remember that Eva Cola is electric? Who? Baja, ba. Baja is gas and electric. Yeah, no. yeah, they do. They make one. It's expensive, though. I'm trying to remember how much it was. I. It was like... Mm, uh, I like it. And I could buy this one for 180 And it's... uh. Speeds 50 kilometer, 50 to 55, and it'll go 120, 130 kilometers a day. I'm planning to make my own sponsor. It would be offensive my girlfriend to talk about the things culture. I, one of the chat, the inner I'm talking about. Okay, so well, madam, sounds good to me. I think you could probably do okay with it. Just make sure you uh, adhere to the YouTube guidelines. Uh, uh, many people, the gamers, make a lot of money. Yeah. JJ, Philly is the only vlogger ever met in real life, and I rode it. Oh, you car. rode in that car, okay. They met JJ. Yeah, good. JJ, you, so you met Philly. Yeah, in fact, uh, he, he uh, privately you know, said he's on no way. So I think if you ask him and you ask me if you should own a car in the Philippines, I think both of, both of us say no, no. I have one out here. It's not even I, it's not even been moved. I'm gonna have to move it. A uh, retail seller paid one hundred seventy-eight. Okay. Pesos. Okay. There you go. That's gas, right? Yeah, gas. Uh, two hundred cc, right? Yeah. Or two twenty-five. And all bus and taxi are X, not car driver. Yeah, they're all X. You're right. You know where I can? Uh, they they do. It's it's amazing, but they get around good. You know, Baja is a nice bike. I even thought about Baja. buying one. Baja. Baja. Yeah, well, uh, I call them Tuk Tuk's. Tuk -tuk. We call them Tuk Tuk. I call it Tuk Tuk. And you I love there. it. Morris, I'll bomb you out in the I don't know. Tess. Hello, RR. Tess. RR says hi. Hi. Hi, Tess. RR says hi back, Tess. Yeah. Say Morris hi to Tess. Old <clears throat> Drive a Ford Ranger here, Jeepney knocked into me, and the cost of repair is more than what his punk or junk is worth. Driving in Philippines is not yeah. for the price of heart. You're exactly right. A lot of people, a lot of people, and you know what, guys? You can hire a driver. It's cheap. Hire a driver. And I mean, they come pick you up in a uh, car, like a car car, uh, uh, SUV car, a van. 
tell them I, I require van or require SUV, I require this. You didn't hire drivers, you know. So, yeah. okay. <clears throat> off to the cows at the movies and fall asleep. Thanks for all you being nice and careful. Be safe. Night, night. It's 9 p.m. Ken, thank you so Ken, much for coming so on. Much. Thank you for your support. Ken has a channel, guys. Yeah. Check out his channel uh, and uh, give it give it a shout out. He has a great channel. He's doing some videos now. So, if you guys want your channel mentioned, just go ahead and put your names at the bottom. Hi, I have a channel. I have a channel. I have a channel. Did you buy your you know. Uh, what did I buy? Our furniture, darling. We don't have furniture here. But... Yeah. We did not have furniture here. It was not furnished. Uh, the countertops and everything, but furniture itself. We bought a furniture at a place downtown, and yeah. we paid uh, 10,000 pesos? 200 U.S. dollars for two chairs, American size, couch, and, and a coffee table, glass, table. glass top, top coffee table for $200. And we've had it now two years. Which is pretty good. <clears throat> Test. Good night, yeah. Nelson Rick said. Good night. Yeah, Ken's going to sleep. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nelson, Nelson Luke, you're going too. by night, night? All right, Nelson, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming on. Uh, yes. Yeah. I watched one video where an RR was showing the room around. I think one of the family vacation is cute. I haven't tried like him or her to do like what RR did. <laughs> yeah, that was in White Mansion in Davao. White Mansion in Davao. And she did do that. She does a job with that. She has that ability that she, um, she has quality like that. And she, she does a good job. What else else, man? For giggles, I am... I am buying and they go... Mission APC. Want to cut me off okay. in 16... An armor plate. <laughs> you know, Renaissance man, you know what? You can do that. Yeah, no worries. Go buy one of those uh, used armor cars. No worries. <laughs> yeah, you've seen them. Hey, can you imagine the riding... In, in the, the bank? bank <laughs> the bank armor car. Can you ride, imagine riding those things? Man, those things got to be hot. And I don't think I don't air know if they con. they have aircon in them. Yeah. Well, you better have a double double aircon in that thing, for sure. <laughs> Could you imagine? We, in fact, uh, Chicha and I, uh, our, our Chicha and I, we were looking. My coffee. Oh, that's right, my coffee. <clears throat> So, yeah, night, Ken. Sleep well, my friend. Yeah. I. Um, so many people get run off the road here, and it's just nature, human nature. I mean, I had one guy almost try to run me off the road on my little motorcycle, but, you know, he, he didn't. Yeah, Ken, I think Ken is on Central Time. Room is first in US when the AC goes out it gets really hot inside because the windows don't roll down for an armored car. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I mean really yeah. yeah. And in that armored car it only does not even have windows other than the, the front window and there's two doors. And here in the Philippines, if you guys remember it's just it's solid all the way around. Those guys are sitting in a hot box. Man, <laughs> could you imagine? Woo! Yeah, I, I, yeah. Or the jeepneys, guys. The old jeepneys, man, they're so hot. I got in one the other day. It was so hot in there. The seat was so hot uh, the other day. It was like a month or so ago. Thank you, R.R. Uh, jerk, well, yes. I have no problem driving in Dabao, but if I was going to drive in Manila, I'd want a tank. Yeah, yeah, you need a tank in Manila. Right, darling? <laughs> 
yeah, so. yeah. Derek, one thing about it is, driving here is a challenge. And hey, Derek, do you find any there's any problem in parking? Do you have a problem with parking? Is it okay for you? Uh, I found that's a problem. It's okay where I'm at, but I'm here in Davo. It's a problem parking. CDO same, no parking. Most of the guys that have most most like me have little scooters or motorcycle or little uh, the ba the Baja the tuk tuk is nice. Baja. Baja. The little tuk tuk's nice that you could scoot in anywhere. Those are, those things are nice. Yeah, I thought yeah. about that. Funny talking about an armored car and his name is Loomis. <laughs> yeah, Loomis, you're right. Did you work for them or something, Loomis? You're talking about an uh, armored car and it's Loomis. That's the name of the armored surface there. Oh. Uh, here is in Illinois City, it is a dump truck, cement truck, and CBO buses yeah. that comes yeah. down the road and 150 kilometers. Yeah, 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 yeah. a dollar for any one accident. What is this, man? I know that's going to be a problem. Uh, I need to knock on wood here. Here, uh, we see very few. We have a few. We have, I'm not saying we don't have, but there is. But it's, since I've been here in, the, here in this area, I've only probably seen, what, maybe two? We saw that car on the side of the road the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, we maybe saw two there, two on a bus. Where the bus is run off, down off the mountain into the thing. Um, my friend Alton, guys, I want to say this. He's, he was in the Korean War. He's 88. He got shot here in the eye. He's been shot six times. Went back in. Uh, he's been in an airplane accident. All the one lived. He was in a bus accident here in the Philippines years ago. Only one lived. And I think he's blessed. I really think he's blessed, don't you, honey? You can tell by the man. I'm going to do an interview with him next week on his life here. And I'm going to have him explain a little bit more of that. Yeah, I'm surprised that when he's telling that one when we are about eating our lunch, the yeah. time when we are in CBO, that he's riding a bus and he had an accident and he's the only one that lived uh, live alive there. Yeah, when same thing as plane accident. Up, it's all bandaged all over yeah. his body. Yeah. And same thing with the accident. He was in a... Yeah. I don't know how he, I don't know how this, this, uh, and being in the Korean War, as you know, he was a machine, uh, a machine. Six times he's been shot, right? Six times he's been shot, and one bullet went in here, and he has no, very little hearing in this ear, but he said he was a little man, and he said he'd get in there like that, and as you guys know, like that, and, um, apparently he was the only small man in the group. In his air, in his bunch, that uh, he was required to go back in. I'll have I'll have him tell you the story about that. But I'm doing interview with him. I could, did not realize the the what he has been through and what he has seen. I mean, how many people live, go in an airplane accident? Only one lives, and he's in the bus. Only one lives. They've been shot six times. In the Korean War. <clears throat> he's blessed. Uh, Derek was. Uh most accident in Dabo between vehicles and yeah. scooter, motorcycle, and other vehicles. Yeah. Those are usually fault of the scooter and motor drivers, which, yeah, like the one is, yeah, like, cut off. Yeah, you're exactly right. Return to the diesel tank. There. <laughs> you can buy them, <laughs> not really, but you just buy a used armor car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? He's blessed. Uh, you know what? I believe he's he's just blessed that way. Uh, once you talk with him, and, and I, I, you guys are going to get the feeling how he is blessed. And if you would listen to him and his calmness and what he's about. Does he get angry? Sure, he gets angry. He's 88. He's, he's, he's got a fuse of this long. But if you would listen to him, listen to his words, he's really a highly intelligent man. Is he not? Uh, you know, it's just unbelievable. But I will do that. Um, yeah, angels are flying out. His, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I a lot of times too is you know what? All of us. I mean, I know that I have one. I know I have one that's protecting me. And I mean, I've I've fallen off some high roofs, uh, clean uh, restaurant hoods, 
you clean those bad boys and you're talking to fans on the roof of a slope roof uh you know you're three stories up four stories up and uh i've fallen and no uh, i'm okay i mean he almost died one time because it cut my hand as you can see this hands to form because of the roof tile but sliding down a roof and i put my hand down cut through all the my gloves so yeah charles you would like it charles uh, because he is from Palawan, uh, Bahol, Naga, Dumaguete. Yeah. Let me know. Many nights mo Yeah, I will. The cafe is retro looking by. Motor Star dinner. Yeah. I will look at that. I will go there this week. Motor Star. Let's go to Motor Star this week. Can we slide it in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chicha says yes. If Mama says yes, that means we'll go. Yeah. Yeah, they want to hear about the interview. Renaissance the man. Uh -huh. Interview for... Concert. Yeah, 84. Yes, Charles. I will do that. I will do that. We'll go see him this week. I'm, uh, we got to go see him this week to deliver his uh, Valentine's Day gift to his wife that yeah, he bought from Chicha. She's yeah. got to make a bunch of cakes this way. Good morning, Cressy's Channel. How are you doing this morning? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> a shout out to Cressy's Channel. She has her own channel, guys. Uh, she the one she's just did a thousand. In, I think in Florida. Uh, she's living in Florida. She just got her thousand subs, right? She's got her thousand subs. Congratulations, Cressy. I saw Chiche watching you yesterday. This is Tom and Ruth, and then Ruth and Tom has their own channel. But thank you for coming on our channel. A shout out to her channel, guys. You guys would like to subscribe. Double Dog, all those guys, take a look at her channel. It's fun. Hello, she knows Cressy. <clears throat> but what yeah, restaurant? We will. Restaurant hood cleaning in the U.S. Ah, restaurant hood cleans. Like yeah, business. it's tell yeah. More, tell us more. About All right, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> Horrible business. Couldn't find anybody who wanted to work. I got uh, involved in that business years ago, uh, working for a company uh, there, a company called EcoLab, and they bought a company and got involved in it, and then ended up working, and uh, they sold the division off, and found myself without a job, and I, so I opened up my own uh, hook cleaning business and had uh, covered the South United States, Southern United States, doing many restaurants. And many, many, many restaurants. Uh, Burger King, McDonald's, anything you think of, I did them. There's not a restaurant I've been in through the Southern United States. And but my it's team has. Plan for that year. Uh, uh, what? Let's see, I work for a cleaning company here in Panama City, Crescent Channel. There you go. Yeah, we did restaurant hook cleaning calls, Kitchen Exhaust Cleaning. My, my company cleaned just about every McDonald's and every Burger King, every Marriott. I had uh, many trucks, many people working for me, up to 20 people working for me, two-man crews, covered uh, on up into a part of Texas, uh, stopped at Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama. Uh, we had crews all over the place, and it was a full-time job. Uh, I paid people very well to do it, and we made good money. Problem is, the problem is, people don't want to work. It's light work. It's very night work. It's very dirty. There's, there's, we did high, high end jobs, low end jobs. I had to contract to Universal Studios. I did that. We did SeaWorld. We did uh, a lot of the big, big boys. So, been there, done that, and enjoyed that. Uh, if I had five Filipino in USA. I'd be a millionaire overnight doing kitchen exhaust cleaning. I would start it tomorrow in USA. I could start a business with a bat of an eye in USA. Uh, average cost be return on investment on a kitchen exhaust cleaning business. Very good. Return on investment would be, well, you don't have any expenses other than your chemical and your labor and your cost of the trucks and things like that. So you're not really having what you call your partake any equipment out other than your labor costs, your payroll, all that. And the key is, is find a labor company like ADP that furnishes workman's comp and things like that. And you could turn it around and just have them be responsible for it and get paid every other week, pay a good salary. Uh, and you could, uh, average hook clean job for a McDonald's would be minimum of 300 US dollars. You're in and out in an hour, hour and a half tops. If you're a night in and out of there an hour and a half, something's wrong. You do two or three of those a night. You can make anywhere from $700,000 a night. 
Some nights I would make back in the day a couple thousand, three thousand. Uh, I had contracts where I had monthly contracts where you could just charge ten thousand, twenty thousand a month on the big boys. Were you doing grease trap removal as well? I did. I did. I did not do grease trap removal uh, because uh, uh, the requirements there, your your grease trucks and things like that, you want to stay away from part of that. Use pressure uh, washers, right? I use pressure washers, yes. Cold water started really big, had the big systems. I ah, forget it. Chemicals the key. I learned that and use cold water pressure washers. Uh, they're cheap ones that you can buy. Get a Honda one, a good one at Home Depot. Uh, you can start a business tomorrow with it and make a fortune. Make sure you get your permits and your licensing. And I can still certify people. I am state certified. I can certify people in the United States of America. In fact, last business I sold to a gentleman of mine, I had customers. He did still owes me money, of course. Uh, he owes me a lot of money, like a hundred grand. But he had customers enough. All he had to do, all he had to do, was work ten days a month. Ten days out of thirty days a month, or twenty working days, ten days a month. It was making probably four or five grand a month. But he didn't want to do it. He quit. No. No, I didn't. Uh, uh. I did it in the beginning. You learn in time. You learn what to do and how to do it. No, I just wore uh, I wore a regular uh, work clothes. Technician work clothes. Long shirt, sleeves, long pants for the chemical. I used a caustic cleaner, the worst on the market. I uh, used many you can use. I had one that I would purchase. Very caustic. Uh, make sure you wear a hat, helmet, glass like this. But yeah, you can do it. Right. Just don't get it on your what skin. What about the wastewater? It's uh, eco friendly. Once you this particular chemical I used, and it goes down. Oh, Renaissance, you're asking too many good questions. You must own some restaurants. <laughs> the once you uh, once it's cleaned and once it's done, it turns into eco friendly green water. It turns into green. So it don't hurt any. You could run out in the street, this, that, and other, and uh, you know you're fine. Hundred thousand bucks lawsuit right all over. I did get sued, not because of that. I did get sued for uh, a people workman's comp. Oh, I got chemical right here in my eye, like that. <laughs> judge, said, judge got to where they say, "Ah, oh, here comes Tom. Ju uh, Tom, come here. What's this one about? Oh, he got chemical. He said, "Said okay, I know what to do. Go stand over there." This mess, out of here. I don't want to hear it. Tom's in here too much. You guys are trying to take advantage of him like that. Attorneys look at five, said 10, 15,000. You guys know the game there. So, yeah, I've been there, done that, man. I had 20 uh, something lawsuits one year. But you got to realize, I ran a big business. Uh, we did probably up to a million and a half, two million a year. <clears throat> but it's, it's too hard of a business. Would I do it again? No. <laughs> No, it's too hard of a business. Uh, uh, most people in that business don't last too long. You got some guys that have been out there 30, 40 years doing it. But. Yeah. Sign me up on that business. I like it. <laughs> yeah, JL. That's a good business. Yeah, sorry, Chi. Sorry you have to go. How many times does the restaurant need to be clean? By law. It depends on the law. States are different. If it's a Burger King or McDonald's, it has to be cleaned four times a year. By law. All of them say no two times a year. No, oh, by law, it's supposed to clean them four times a year. They have to have a certificate on the hood that you certified that hood. If they don't pay the bill, you go rip a sticker right off. You call the health department, the fire department, and say, hey, listen, they did not pay their bill. Go in, they'll shut them down. Oh, sorry, I'm talking fast. She tell me I'm talking fast. I'm just trying to get it in. You, you, uh, you get a, you, when you're certified, you get a sticker. You have stickers on there. You stick it on the hood to certify the hood that you're doing. Uh, did their cleaning, and you're responsible for the cleanliness of that hood. Now, if the restaurant shuts down because of your uh, too much, yeah, competition. yeah, you're gonna find there's there's no competition now. Still to this day, I got people calling me wanting their hoods clean. Still no competition, <clears throat> no competition, no 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 competition. There's only three companies that I'm still aware of, and one just went out of business. And not because they're just overwhelmed, they can't handle the business. You could do a Sam's. You could live off of doing Sam's and Walmart and Target. Just do those three contracts. 
you could probably easily make you, you know, quarter million a year. Um, I, I, I would go back in it because I had fun doing it. I had fun making money. But I wouldn't go to it back in it. I'm retired now. Emily, so I go, thanks, Tom, for Ruth's wonderful chat. Have fun. Great evening. Thank you so much for coming on. Prepare for lunch. Yeah, so it's okay. <coughs> Sorry for all questions. Yeah, it's this okay. Is a great over a I'm sure you're not rushed sure because a lot of people don't care. <laughs> great combo over the oh, yeah. over a bear. Kisi, do they have small motor homes there? You know what? They don't have any small motor homes here. No, they do not. <clears throat> the only homes that they have here are uh, that, you know, motor that uh, maybe jeepneys or multi cabs or something like that that might turn into something that they sleep in, but not normally. They don't have small motor homes here. It'd be good business, though. Yeah, Renaissance Man, no worries. Send me an email. Uh, we can talk about it. Don't, uh, yeah, so Night Chi, yeah. Yeah. There's not, you know, uh, living here in the Philippines, that's what I love about it. Uh, Renaissance, like, yes, I have, and yes, I've had people ask me about it, and micro, micro. Ed, let me think a bit. Micro. Sounds familiar. Does sound familiar to me. Uh, there's a <clears throat> Seven Seas Water Park has food and restaurants and yes he has asked me and yes he is on a cleaning program and yes he's making his guys do it yes you could do a business here but you'll find that they'll end up doing they'll copy copy because there's no laws you know dirty job. yeah dirty job now where you ask you have to be certified you, not some states require a better certification. Some don't really require any certification, so other than a pressure washer and you're cleaning it. But a lot of people don't know that there's companies that do that. It's, that's the niche. But the real true niche is not really doing kitchen exhaust, it's cleaning the ceiling tiles and stuff like that. That's where the money is. And it's true that it's hard to find people who work there. It is. I paid them 20 an hour and uh, the lead guy got a vehicle home a vehicle to take home and all the insurance. Everybody got insurance and benefits, but they would get 25 to 28 an hour and still couldn't find people. You see, would an expert build a tiny house or yeah. a trailer and yeah. an electric hook up yeah. in the provinces? Yeah, good. Yeah, you sure could. You make your own trailer here. Uh, steel is r readily available here. You can make your own trailer. There's some guys that actually make trailers. That's one thing you don't see here is trailers. I've yet to see one trailer here. And I've only seen two, two, uh, where they tow trucks, where they tow your car. There's no, ain't no tow trucks. They tow it, well, they fix it on site. Right, no, you couldn't get 300 here in the Philippines. Yeah, and you, you could do it here in the Philippines, but uh, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get rich here. Uh, you, you'd be better off doing in USA somewhere. What you do is specialize. Go to your places that you do business. It doesn't take much to make a thousand a month doing that. Um, beef farm is the thing. Though the other hand, these companies pay them McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, grease fire. Yeah, they do. And so that's the reason they require you to clean it properly. And uh, grease fire will shut you down. And that's the reason I had to have two million uh, liability insurance for that. And all that, you clean a hood and don't have their fan back up, back up and running by lunch. You have to pay their lunch menu sales. So if their sales are ten thousand at lunchtime, you got to pay that. So there's liabilities. Yeah, you can set up solar panels. Jeremy and Jen, a good beef farm would be good here. You could actually make a fortune here. Beef cattle there, but just started last year. Yeah, they do have beef cattle up here. They just started last year, but it's a great business to get into. What could you expect to pay for a spot for a tiny house, like the back corner of your side yard? You know what, Casey? You could easily, you could easily put a house on wheels here. Um, Buffering. You could probably do it for how much, darling? 
to rent, you lease it. You lease it to the owner. You probably could do it less than fifty dollars a year. Uh, maybe a hundred dollars a year, five thousand peso. I'm serious too. I'm serious. Ask you, Chad. You lease it. I want back corner, uh, say uh, fifty yard by fifty yard, or fifty meter by fifty meter. Sure. Yeah. Land here depends where you go and where you have it at. You can actually you can actually lease it with an owner. You just get with the owner. Make sure attorney draws up the papers. Uh, and once the attorney draws it up, make sure you have an agreement with them. The owner actually has to own the land, and you make up an agreement that's five thousand peso, ten thousand peso. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You could easily do fifteen by twenty. Sure, you could do that. You just have to set it up with. Uh, the owner that has a piece of property, yeah, hundred dollars a year. Now remember, you don't have septic, right? And you don't have you could pull electric there, but you'd have to branch it off the owner of the house or use solar. You could use solar as electric. You could do that, and then run electric off of it. Sure, you could easily do that. That's not a problem here in the Philippines. It's you got to really realize, guys, you're you're fifty, eighty years behind here in the Philippines, the U.S. standards. They don't have septics like they do in the U.S. Here they build what they call block septic. It's too, they build a hole, this big square, and then put block in, right? And then the next hole is the same thing, but it's maybe uh, two feet by two feet or three feet by three feet. And this is three feet by three feet or four feet by four feet, right? And step down and then no leach field. And then when it fills up, they covered up concrete and go dig another hole. There is a place in another city that has beef cattle. I am British and I can never why anyone in U.S. could sue anyone. You can sue anybody in any in U.S. It, for anything. Yeah, even J.J. said, J.J. said, in Philippines, America, and I'm wondering the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a drinker for a six month just looking to chill cheap, cheap. Well, you could do that. You could actually uh, rent, uh, you go to uh, some of the islands and you can rent a uh, Nipa hut and uh, with barely electric for nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm talking 10 to $20 a month and whatever the electric is. Yeah, there's, there's many, many, many. <coughs> Jeremy and Jane, their leach field is that the bottom of the leach tank, where it's the U.S. We run line out to the leach field. It's actually the same thing that the same yeah. country. Yeah, they here where I'm at, they don't run the leach fields. Uh, well, here, here where I've seen in my area, they don't run leach fields here, and other areas like CD and Davao, they don't run leach fields. They just run boxes. Uh, then the boxes fill up really quick, and they wonder why. Yeah, uh, they just, good morning, Jay's Journey. How are you doing this morning? Hello. Yeah, uh, welcome on our channel this morning. Yeah, they, uh, where I'm at, they don't run leech, uh, bottom side or anywhere. They just don't do it. Uh, reason why I know it's because uh, I helped design a lot of them for a lot of the people here that, because, you know, my hook cleaning business. That, so we uh, use the barrel systems. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the barrels. Uh, blue barrels. The blue barrels, yeah. And it's great for the rice fields because you, if you're building a house in a, what they call a heavily populated, a, a bottom land area, you're going to need some type of uh, setup. You can't just do block there. So what they started doing it, yeah, so watery. So what they started doing, is high. yeah, and even the engineering department even noticed that they're taking a look at my septic system because it's, uh, you can, it's floating barrels. So they will not float because you just get them in the ground. So. Bye, Tess. Take thank care. you so much, Tess. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Casey, thank you. My pension is $1,000 a month and social security is yeah. Can I make this there? You sure can. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, most of the people here on average... Because it's not drunk. Yeah, you, yeah. It depends. You don't drink or smoke or things like that. Yeah, you can easily make it here on eleven seventy-five. Sure, you can. 
the average, uh, they did a statistics the other day. I just read it. In fact, Ken, you still on or you go to bed? In fact, Ken and I were looking at that last night. Uh, average check here is about 800, uh, which there's many more have a lot more than that. So, uh, you can easily you can easily live on that. What you do is you take and uh, just you can you can rent a nice place for that. You can rent a house and uh, live quite well for that. It's, it's, that's no problem here in the Philippines because see you're getting 50 peso to the dollar so just just say a thousand a month that's 50,000 peso you have 50,000 peso to live on most Filipino live on 20, less, less. 10, 10, 5 5,000, 8,000, 10,000, 200 a month that's Filipino and some Americans are living for twenty thousand, which is four hundred dollars a month. Some are living for six hundred dollars a month, like that. I said, for instance, barrel system. Blue barrel We're system. Building a three chamber septic in concrete with six cubic meters capacity. <clears throat> we are building the blue barrel system. Is yeah, we're blue, using blue barrels, three. sixty yeah, liter. Like yeah, like sixty liter. Uh, three chamber septic. Yeah, even a three-chamber septic, there's no leach field to them here. Yeah. Uh, six cubic meter capacity. No, it's not, not six meter cubic meter because depending on the size of your house, depending on how many people's in your house, you know, that's how you guide those. You guide your septic to the to the house and how many people's going to be living in the house. So you guide you your septic needed. to that. You, yeah, you're going to need more than that if you've got more than three four people. Uh, we have a three, three barrel septic set up here. Uh, and... Everybody loves it. Most don't even have that. Most of them just have a hole in the ground with block around it and no leach field. And they've been doing in that and been doing that for years, 30 years, 40 years, and never no leach. So you can't. It's really hard. Let me let me go back. Leach fields here are almost impossible to do, especially in the mountain areas. The mountainous areas are mended now because of the clay soil. You could take that well up there and not put block in it and put it in there and the water will stay in there. Very little will raise out. It will leak out but very little because of clay soil. So they're not familiar with leach fields here and so they do have a problem with septics. Even in Dabo, even in CDO. Uh, now, at Davo, they're, they're starting to do requirements, and they're making people get certified to do that. Well, I've been doing it the last 10 years, anyway. Okay. There you go. Well, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you could live on, you could live on $1,000, no worries. You have 50,000 pesos, what the heck are you going to spend it on? You can rent a three-bedroom house in uh, Cebu for how much, darling? 160, 180 a month. A beautiful, brand new house. Rent a condo. I mean, we can rent a condo in Davo right now for uh, ten, fifteen thousand a month. And what else? You know, you got your food, electric, water, visa, all the other. So, okay, say eight hundred, and then there you go, a thousand. Mm. So, <clears throat> Kizzy, I read a lot about violent crime getting stopped, shot. This is. Exaggerated a possibility. No matter where you go, it's crime. Yeah. Casey, no matter where you go, it's crime. Could you get in crime? Sure. Do people get hurt here? Yes. It can happen anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. It does not just here. It's not just here at all. You could get in crime in USA, anywhere. Is there crime here? Yes. Is it bad? No. It's, it's better than USA. I can tell you that. All you have things to do is before you leave the house, you just pray. Yeah, yeah, there you go. What's Derek say? Derek, there are foreigners there that could become a millionaires, piece of millionaires, but they are always broke because of taxes, expensive Derek, restaurants, that's exactly girls, right. and drink, um, drinking almost every day. That's it. Their, their, their vices uh, take over. I have a friend of mine. He gets about 1500 a month, right? He spends $140 a week on, on alcohol and cigarettes and girls. Some weeks he spends 200 a week. That's 800. 
Eight hundred of his money is spent for that. And the rest of the time he spends the rest. So if he's spending that on girls and stuff and he's living in a in a house and he has nice things, so what does that tell you? He's getting fifteen hundred dollars a month. And he don't dip into his savings or anything. Are expensive? No no no, they are not. We have three fees with which fill the rent through garden boxes that runs per meter of the box. Wall. Yeah, you may have had it installed that way, or they may have installed it that way, but that's not the norm. Uh, uh, they they don't even know what a leach field is here, where I'm at. In fact, they don't in Davo. Let me put it this way. I'm going to give you an example. I just saw some houses built in Davo, and they don't even have, they put a, they put a, a block in the ground, uh, and a two-block system, and that's it. That's it. And so, uh, am I right? Yeah, that's it. They don't have the leach fields. They don't even know what a leach field is. And how do they do a leach field? See, they don't, they don't know what a leach field is. If they did, they would have beautiful gardens. There's not one house here in town has a leach field. I'm the only no. one. I'm the only one. So first time here. First the time. Knows first time. Now, now I'm talking within 100 kilometers of here all the way around, guys. They said I'm the, the first one, first one, first one. We've had many, many, many officials talk about that. So <clears throat> they, they, they don't do it. And it's not just here. It just goes back, back. We're talking Luzon. They're, they don't run a lot of leach fields up in there. And I don't know Renaissance. I don't even know where you're at. If You may be in Manila or something where they have guidelines. They don't run out of here. It, uh, let's see. Where is it? Madame? Wow. This one in Where is that one? This one. This one the same. I don't know. What do you... Treat your to break down the soil. It don't have to treat anything. It does it on its own. It has bacteria in it anyway. You can add yeast to it once a year if you want to do it. Uh, just journey. When I was in the Philippines, I had two bedrooms, apartment, fourteen thousand pesos. There you go. There you go. So uh, there you go. So it kind of gives you an idea. Ten thousand peso, two bedroom apartment. Yeah. And so we had a two-bedroom apartment in town. It cost us five thousand peso. So. Jesus said, "Possibilities could happen anywhere." I should have said probability. Yeah, it's it, probability is like uh, uh, walking outside getting hit by lightning. You know. Crime, yeah, you know what? It, it depends. If you're going to be in a crime area, sure. If you're going to be, it's it's the environment you're in and what kind type of person you are and all that stuff, you know. Um, it depends, you know what I mean? You guys tell me, I mean, it's hard to answer what, I do not drink or smoke when my wife knows how to use a butterfly neck. <laughs> that knife goes like this. Yeah, she'd open a can with a... How about dinghy? Other tropical animals? Yeah, you can catch that uh, pretty easy here. Our daughter caught it, and um, daughter had it, and yeah, you can get dinghy here, but it's not something that oh, you go get dinghy. I don't know what how many. I don't know what the ratio is. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have the ratio of Filipino to getting bit by dinghy, I don't know, but they do spray. You need to clean. Yeah. Key is keep your place Avoid clean. Avoid water, stagnant yeah, water. Yeah, stagnant water. You know, overflow water, shower water, things like that. Now that's the thing that they know how to do a leach fields on. They'll make a shower drain water, but it just drains out to the street. Most showers drain to the street here. You know, most violence against foreigners is because they create a situation between themselves and a the Filipino. Derek, you hit it right on the head, spot on, spot on. And if you go to the pubs or the bars, you might find it. If you're loud and loud mouth, you will find it. If you were, uh, uh, as I say, a very uh, anxiety and create angry. havoc and angry, you're going to find it. 
You'll find it pretty Be quick just here. Friendly. If you're friendly and don't insult, people. don't insult, don't humiliate them. Yeah. Be kind. Keep your mouth shut. You're and fine. Don't be argue. Be careful with your jokes. Yeah, no joking. Just, just be careful. As they can take a joke. And I said something to my Filipino friend. I could yesterday. I said, "Be good. Don't be bad." Now, you, uh, you, us Americans think of that. Now, he knew what it meant. And he says, I'm always good. And then, but I said that one time before, and people said, oh, you think I'm bad? You think I'm a bad person? Like that. Yeah. Renaissance, our gray water. Our water is through a grist trap oh. and goes for the garden as well. We also use water catchment to filter to like the storage drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great water. We have uh, probably 50 foot, uh, no, less than that, probably 30 foot uh, uh, two line uh, water leach field out. And then it uh, it goes to a another area that I designed. And then with gravel, about four feet of gravel. And then we have for another line leached out there that leaches out it goes to a drain that we can actually use for like you said drinking water and things like that yeah MJ you're right yeah right yes yeah, some people people cannot uh, deal with uh, like yeah like green jokes or yeah hurt jokes hurt joke yeah. and I was saying that don't be bad meaning as us Americans bad means joke joke like Fake, fake joke. Don't you know? with sense of humor. Yeah, sense of humor. Like this. Um, I always do it like this. Uh, I forget what it was the other day. Oh. Like the saying is that uh, buy alligator for a wild crocodile. Yeah. That's before first time is using that phrase is that buy alligator for a wild crocodile. Then yeah. they're saying. You called me crocodile? Like that? Yeah. So, I said, see you later, a alligator. Yeah. After a while, crocodile. That's what they're supposed to say back. And you call me an alligator? Then when he explained, you will understand. Now they understand. I said, see you later, alligator. Then and they will they, always say they, that. After a while, crocodile. Now they do that. But it's her family. I only do that to her family. But remember, all her family speak English except for... Three, four, right? All your, all your sisters. Well, uh, your brother does it. Most of all, her sisters, which is many, many, many. Only one sister. Then. Only one sister. Yeah, it does not. Yeah, Mister B said, "Don't say bad. Don't say misbehave. Don't say crazy. Say silly." Yeah. 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 Perhaps India or Vietnam would be a cheaper option. Okay. All right, India, Vietnam. Okay, sounds good to me, KC. Have fun in India or Vietnam, no worries. Yeah, India's not a safe place, but okay. Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam, go ahead. Yeah, you can go any, you go, you, guess what, you can go. Rick has been there. Yeah, you can go anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. Safe is, you know, home is where your heart is. Safe, I don't know. Is there anywhere safe? Chairman Jay, I do joke when one person in the Philippines, my wife's aunt, her name is Olympia, and I always call her Olympo, <laughs> and I have the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, everybody jokes me yesterday, uh, the professor, uh, teaches college, he's retired now, he comes and he rubs my belly, and then yesterday he, he rubbed my belly, his wife rubbed my belly, and I said, when you rub my belly, now you will get pregnant. Oh! And she goes, if I get pregnant, something will be really wrong. I said, well, either that or you swallow watermelon. They all laughed like that. As long as you keep joke like that, they like. It's, yeah, it's time. Yeah. Yeah, my brother and mother is embarrassing to uh, In the U.S., we give thumbs yeah. up. It's some cultures that same yeah. as giving them middle finger. Yeah. We have yeah. to be mindful. Yeah. We do. Yeah, we really yeah. do. We really do. We, we, and even here on YouTube, uh, I'm trying to be mindful. I'm not, uh, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, look at Mr. B. Say, so, Mr. B. India is not long-term stay visa friendly. Always check the visa requirements first, especially for long-term stay. There you go. Mr. B, answer real quick. And I, I, I yeah, India is not, uh, well, you don't want to be there. Just you know. for it's like vacation. going, yeah, Africa? Like going to Africa. Yeah, go to Africa. Um, I'm just trying to make informed decisions. I understand that. But you got to understand, too. Um, Casey, that's your choice. Yeah, that's your choice. You can do whatever you want to do. You, you want to move there, you can. You want to you want to build a house on a trailer, you can put it, and you can stick it anywhere you want. <coughs> but I suggest you figure out a way that you're going to do your septic and things like that. You know what I mean? And uh, make sure that you have uh, some type of setup of power. Your septic is going to be the hardest problem for you, though. It's not the power, because you can get power off solar, but your septic is going to be the hardest thing. If you're in a little tiny house, unless you use a compost toilet or something like that, you could do that. A compost toilet? Yeah. You ever seen those? I don't know if it's behold or not. They say they're not, but. Uh, JG, I'm just trying to make informed decisions. JG, no, you're not. <laughs> Run it to the river. So this is a very good format for you guys. You should give it up with the live chat and conversation. Can you go anywhere? Yeah, we do that, Renaissance Man. We've been doing that ever since from the start. This is uh, one of uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 that we've uh, done. And we do this them all the time. Because Renaissance Man, a lot of the guys want to know about visas. They want to know about when they come to the Philippines, what to expect, the taxis. Uh, they asked me about buying land. They asked me about insurance. They asked me about health insurance. They asked me about when I come there, what am I going to expect? Uh, how safe is this area? How safe is that area? And all all we can do is just give them uh, great informed decisions that are not uh, try to be honest from the heart. You know, am I right? No. Am I right? No. I just know that I try to help. You know, that's all. And a lot of times, too, uh, one thing about it, my subscribers will set me straight. If I'm wrong on something, they're going to tell me straight up, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Do I get upset? No, I really. I don't worry about it. I don't put emotions into this. I, I will. I'm a Scottish Irish, so, and, and so you can have you can have a pretty good idea, you know. This has been the most intelligent conversation I've listened to in the last six months. Not, ah. <laughs> well, you could always come on. We have these discussions on what day is my beautiful wife? Uh, we live every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every 8 o'clock Philippine time. So, S M W F S M W F 8 a.m. Filipino time here in the Philippines in Mindanao. So, we do this S M WF and on on Tuesdays and Thursdays we just do our thing um, and we try to Renaissance we try to answer JG's here there's a lot yeah, of guys that are Google, really good guys Double Timothy Dog White. Timothy White David White they are, have a lot of experience, a lot of experience Dawson Creek yeah. there's uh, there's many people that are on here that MJ even MJ we have a lot of women on here that give their input too because they can give Based input. Based on their experience. Yeah. yeah. You, they give a lot of great input on, like, where to go. There's Cheryl. There's Lagaya. They, and MJ, they give us input on, hey, where is this at? Oh, yeah. that's over here. If you go up Luzon, like that. Yeah. Because I don't know. And she, she don't know all the places. And they don't know all. Um, Cheryl. Like Mr. B, B61. Yeah. Where's he at? B61. He, uh, Mr. B61. He answers a lot of questions, a lot of subscribers. Uh, I don't know how long he's been here, but uh, he's always he's on our channel. Derek's always on our channel. There's many of the guys that come Jeremy on. And Jay. Yeah, Jeremy and Jen's always, always on there. Yeah. yeah, there's always great guys that come on here that can give us uh, good information. So, and we try to do that. A double yeah. dog. Derek, I mean, there's many Derek Derek also, surveyor guys, or liner. Derek. Can, yeah, Derek. Wallace in Davao, he can 
Maybe yeah, Derek. You can put some information in Davao area. Like yeah, that. Derek's in Davao, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we got a lot of guys uh, uh, different areas of the Philippines. We got some guys in uh, Baguio. We get people from all over the world. Ah, we get people from Brazil, uh, Dutch. Oh, uh, Mr. B is in Ilone, uh, thir three years. Oh, three years. Okay. Yeah, Ilo, 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 Ilo. Okay. Ah. Mr. B, there that, you go. The, the one of closest friend, like, uh, we call that uh, adopted my father. He's been in Iloilo in Haniwai. Haniwai, ah. Iloilo. Yeah. He's, he go back there now with his family. Haniwai, Iloilo. Um, yeah, why have never never seen you? I don't know. <laughs> See? 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 You guys are in the same town. <laughs> See, so uh, there's and get this. I'm gonna say this too, Renaissance man and guys. Five couples. I don't know if they're all still together, but five couples have met here in Chit Chat. Tom and Ruth. Philippine <laughs> Adventures. Yeah, matchmaker. Joke. Yeah, but they actually met here. I don't know if they're yeah. still talking. How uh, many subscriber here does women or yeah. men looking yeah. for? Lifetime partner. Yeah, we have we have some great subscribers that just uh, uh, are married. Some are not married. Some are like uh, James is coming. Uh, we got uh, Charles coming. There's many coming here, the Philippines that just have questions, and uh, the sometimes it it might see a simple question to me, but it's a very important question to them, and I always try to answer it. And if I get short with someone, you guys straighten me out on that because it, I don't mean to. Some were were uh, being questioned about part in Luzon, and we cannot answer because we're not in Luzon. So some are part in uh, yeah. what's that Visayas, yeah. and many people stay also in Visayas. They will, they will, uh, what's that? They, they can input some information yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Yes. So Bud Brown. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, everybody knows Bud Brown. If you don't know, no. Bud Brown's been here forever. He's a good guy. And he will answer questions for you. Bud Brown's a good guy. Uh, there, really, I don't know of any bad guys. See? Oh, Mr. B. Breakfast with yeah. Him. He wanted All right, Mars. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Welcome on our channel this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, Tito Tim is Elo. He's in the Renaissance Festival. Well, there you go. Tito 10, Timothy White. Timothy, you're still on here. Good for you. Thank you for staying on. Thank you, guys. Yeah, in fact, uh, yeah. Yeah, where's yours? MJ, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. MJ, he's coming. He's coming. MJ should say to her. Yeah. Yeah, still here. Good, good, good. Awesome. Oh, hi, darling. Hi. <laughs> Serge. Hi, look who's on Mars. There's Serge. Yeah. Hi, darling. Yeah. Serge, I thought you were sleeping. He always wake. He's waking up. Yeah. If he will hear much yeah. quicker. KC, yeah. all right. Here, my dear. Yeah. You know, uh, there are many, uh, many of our guys, so we always help each other. But Brown is a good guy. So, um the only couple would be living on Lette. Does seem like a lot of YouTube shows live in Typhoon Alley. <laughs> Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy and Jen's got a channel. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. But you know what? I hear it's nice up there, right? Mm. Yeah, really nice. Uh, thumbs up. Hey, th Tom, you still here? Thumbs up, guys. If you hadn't thumbs up, Surge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs Tom's still up, here. Yeah. L -O -L. Yeah. Good morning. Mm. Uh, Eighty year old with the a foot. The triple Iloilo is the bones of expat that are here and 80, 80 years old uh -huh. with a foot with grave with granddaughter. I mean, GF, just yeah. old people who are. In the Renaissance man, you know what? We have that here too. We have we have. There's there's quite a few, but you know what? There's quite a few younger guys moving here. Do you notice that? Mm. Uh, younger, I mean, uh, I say younger, I'm talking uh, 50, 55, that's made their money, 
that has money, that is is okay, and they're coming here. They're retired, retired early. <coughs> Operation Philippine Journey retired early. He's uh, 49. He's in Dumaguete now. He was up here in Davo. Uh, I don't. He's. I bet he's not on anymore. But he's been here a while. He's no, down in Dumaguete. Your genetic back. CJ's is in Leyte. Oh, CJ's in Leyte. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm 41 and we will be moving in November. Mm. There you go. 41. Oh, what a good age to come to the Philippines. Good for you, Jeremy and Jen. Good for you. Youngest expat by stretch. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I my uh, I got here when I was 60, darling. Uh -oh. 60. Yeah. 60. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And I'm 55. Oh, I will be moving to Cebu when I am 57. Timothy White, I know you can't wait. You're counting the days, huh? Why is that shitty thing moving? R. You're counting the days. I know you are. I know you're counting the days. Like this? Yeah, I, exactly. How, how are you? Uh, 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 uh. Or Mark Calendar? Yeah. Yes. I, yes, I am. Counting the days. <laughs> I did. Being 30, 32 is hard here, <laughs> 32? Uh, are you sure? Are you sure it's not 23? Nah. Kidding. A uh, joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. Renaissance. There you go. Uh, Operation Philippine Journey. He's 49. He's been retired here. I'm 22. Mm, there you go. I, uh, You know, too, once you retire, it's a state of mind. And what I mean by that, I still find myself uh, having nightmares of me having to get up and go to work. I still have those nightmares. And there's nothing I can do about getting rid of those nightmares. I try to do my best. Wants to work. I want to get up and go to work. <laughs> I do. I mean, I, it's too. I, 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 I go. Normal, I, yeah. I, it's too. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Yeah. And I stopped working overseas also. Yeah, it's been I, years, guys. Always alarm. Yeah. It's and sometimes I hear an alarm. I'm already up. I'm, I'm ready to hit the door. One morning I was picking my pants up. I already had my pants on. I said, oh, no, I'm in the Philippines. I can't go. I won't be retiring when we move there. But I put two boys through college of silly man. <laughs> Tom, I don't think that is that one. I don't think it is, Mike. I don't think it is that one. Is it? Yeah, Mike. Where's Michael? Mike live? Mike. Ilo, Ilo. Ilo, okay. Yeah. He's living in Ilo, Ilo? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mike is the one who heart surgery, Yeah, right? heart surgery. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Mike comes on our channel. Uh, it's Mike been a while, journey. Mike. Yeah, it's been a while since he's been on, but it's Mike okay. Philippine journey, don't yeah, yeah, Mike. My Philippine journey. He's been on. Uh, he he. Uh, oh, Mike is not here. Ah, in Bacolod. Oh. Oh. Oh, one time, Bacolod. Uh, one time he was just visiting Iloilo. He just fell. Visiting. Iloilo. Okay. Iloilo. I don't know. He's, he's in all Bacolod? over the world. <laughs> he's all over all over Philippines. He's like Rike. Mike recently moved to Bacolod with Rose. Yeah, last okay. time I think they Ilo when he was Rowena. Okay. He was with Rowena. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, darling. See that? Here, let's do it again. <laughs> you, there's no sound. <laughs> What's that blue? My, my daddy-o. Oh. Uh, my daddy-o. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah, guess what time it is. Yeah, edit that, Tom Patrick. You're right, Tom. <laughs> edit that. <laughs> edit that. Edit that. And who else? <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming on today and uh, uh, having a great super chat. We'll be back on again on uh, tomorrow. tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. 
So type that in there real quick, honey, if you don't mind, uh, before we go, say tomorrow morning mm -hmm. chat. <coughs> and so uh, we're losing everybody anyway. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. chat, I'll do a, a post again so everybody will know and keep up with it. And then... Uh, and tomorrow again. Yeah. I want to thank everybody for coming on today. Bye, everybody. Uh, your buffer on your back, Jeremy and Jen, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're going to call it a uh, day today. It's, is that 12? Yeah, it's 12. It's 12 o'clock, so we're going to uh, get some lunch and get us some food. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming on, and thank you so much. And uh, MJ, yeah, MJ, see you later. Jeremy and Jen, thank you, thank you. Timothy, thank you. I will be here. Take care, Renaissance man. Yeah, get some coffee. Yeah. We'll have some coffee. Uh, bye, Madame. Thank you so much. Uh, bye, Tom ass. and Ruth. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Timothy White. Thank you. Bye, all. Oh, bye, all. Oh, bye. Thank you, Tom Patrick. Mr. B. KC, thank you for coming on. Mr. B, 61, thank you so much for coming on. We really enjoyed this today. We had a good conversation today. Uh, so thank everybody for coming on. And we appreciate it. Derek, thank you. So, uh, you have any questions you want, write them on a piece of paper and you talk tomorrow. We can talk about it tomorrow. No worries about it. We want to thank everybody and uh, we appreciate it. And smile, chit -chat. I see that face. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Say bye-bye, R. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, R. Okay, R, you don't want